Oh, it's Christmas morning already. Mom, dad, wait, where are all the presents? Was I just completely abandoned on the holiday? Hey, why does everything look so empty? Mom, dad, where are you guys? Oh man, no one's here. They, they just completely abandoned me. Come on, come on, pick up. Are you kidding me? Still no answer? Oh my goodness, who should I call? Uh, think, think. Hello? Hey, Martin, what's going on, man? Are you having a good holiday? Oh, I had so many presents to open this morning. It was crazy. That's what I'm trying to call you about, Daniel. I didn't get any. I mean, my family just completely left me. What? What are you even talking about? I woke up this morning and they're just gone. There's no presents and, and none of them. Whoa, that's really weird. Well, why don't you ask your neighbors? Maybe they saw your parents this morning or something. You know, that's actually a great idea. Uh, I'll call you back. Hello? Uh, Mr. Robinson? What is this? What's going on? Why are you bugging me so early on Christmas morning? All I asked for for Christmas was to be left alone. I know. You made that very clear. Look, I'm sorry to bug you, but this is an emergency. Have you seen my parents anywhere? I haven't heard anything from them. <sighs> I woke up early this morning to let the dog out, and I, I did see your parents drive off, but that's it. Great. Uh, which way did they drive off to? I don't know. I don't pay attention to you people, but just get off my property before I call the police. You're disturbing my holiday. Where did they go? And more importantly, why did they leave? Look, look at the picture. Have you seen them at all? Anywhere? No, I have not seen them. And if you're not going to buy anything in the store, you need to go. Look, man, I just need your help, all right? Have a heart. My parents are actually missing. If I actually cared, I would do something about this, but I don't. Now get out of my store. Enjoy spending Christmas alone. Where could they have gone? I thought they would come home by now, but nothing. This park, too. I mean, they always used to take me here. We'd play around the playground all the time. Everything just seemed happy. But I guess it wasn't that happy if they just left me. Hey! You got some money on you? Uh, I mean, have you seen my parents anywhere? I don't care about your parents! I just want some money! Uh, all right, all right, fine, fine. Here, if I give you money, can you can you tell me where they are? Yeah, yeah! You know, on second thought, I saw them, actually. I saw them by the mall! Yeah, they're shopping by the mall! That's right! Thank you, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All right, I mean, no one seems to be here. I wonder why they even came here to begin with. I mean, maybe they forgot to buy me gifts? Yeah, maybe that's why. They're probably just doing everything last minute. Mom? Uh, Dad? Mom, dad! Wait, no, this doesn't add up. I mean, all the stores, they're, they're closed. I find this very odd. And why are all the lights off? Oh, well, maybe I just need to keep looking for them. Uh, Mom, dad! Uh, 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 hi. What, 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 are you, what are you doing in here? Sorry, sir. I mean, I was just looking for my mom and dad. Someone told me that they may be here. Well, the mall's closed for the holidays. You're trespassing. Listen, sir, I promise I don't mean any trouble at all. I'm just trying to find my parents. Uh, look, uh, here's a picture. I know you're just breaking in the mall to probably steal stuff. You're going to jail. Uh, I gotta go. I, I promise I didn't break in or anything. Get back here, you liar. You thief, you scoundrel. You make no sense! Oh no, a uh, dead end! <laughs> I got you now! I promise I didn't do anything! Listen here, kid. I got too much on my plate to be dealing with this, alright? I promise I'm not a thief! My parents, they're missing! I'm trying to look for them! I'm not trying to steal anything! I don't want to hear it! You are gonna stay in here forever, all right? And once we found out what you stole, it's over for you, buddy. Oh man, that homeless guy, he sent me there. He set me up. Even after I gave him the money, how could he? Uh, I just need to keep my head up. I will find my parents and I will get out of here. Martin, there you are. Daniel, what are you doing here? Oh, yes. Ha, by the way, I'm Officer Rufus, y'all. Yeah, yes. Oh, that's right. This is Officer Rufus. I was telling him your story. Yes, why is you here on Krampus, y'all? It's a Harlem die. It's just a huge misunderstanding. My family's missing. Something happened to them. So, Officer Rufus, do you think you'd be able to help him? No, I can't help you right now. It has to be a full 24 hours before I file some missing persons reports. How did I even know that, y'all? Can you at least help me out of this cell? I mean, I don't want to be in here. I didn't do anything wrong. Oh, yes. I'll let you out right now. 
thank goodness. So what, after 24 hours, you really don't mind helping me find my parents? Yes, I'll help you find your parents. I'll look for them, don't worry, y'all. This feels so weird, no one being here. This is the first time I think I've ever been alone. I'm not really sure what to do. All I know is I'm really hungry. Oh man, are you serious? There's nothing here? Uh, I do have some money I saved for my allowance. Maybe I should just go get some food on my own. Have you heard anything, Officer Rufus? Anything at all? Martins, I'll be looking all over the place. Left, right, ups, down, everywhere. I can't find your parents. If you guys can't figure out what happened to them, then how am I supposed to know? All I know for sure is that your parents is gone and you sit here all alone. I mean, yeah, where else am I supposed to go? Well, if you got no parents, that means you and orphans, y'all. So that means you have to go to the orphanage. No, no way. I'm not going there. Look, I'm going to stay here in case my parents come back, all right? So you going to stay here all alone in this big house with just you all alone by yourselves? That's sad, y'all. Yep, my feet are planted. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, what was that? Something from downstairs? Maybe mom and dad are home. Everything has to be thrown out immediately. We got to turn this place over. Uh, excuse me. Whoa, whoa, hey, who are you? What are you doing in this house? What do you mean, what am I doing here? I live here. What are you doing here? I'm the real estate agent that now owns this house. So what, were you the previous owner? Yeah, I lived here with my parents. This is my home. You just can't take it. Actually, I can. Your parents haven't paid the mortgage for months. They are so behind on their bills, the bank took the house back. Sir, please don't take this house from me. This is all I have left. Listen here, punk. This house is mine now. No longer yours. That means you shouldn't be here. Ugh. Fine. I just gotta get a couple things from my room. So you're gonna steal from this place too? Ugh. Pathetic homeless loser. Martin, what's going on? Are you going somewhere? They're kicking me out of my house. They bought the property and everything. I mean, I don't have anywhere to go now. Why don't you just come and stay with me and my dad? Wait, really? You do that for me? Duh, dude. You're my best friend. Now, come on. Let's go back to my place. You really thought that I would allow this loser in our home? Dad, why would you even say that? Martin really needs our help. Yeah, I promise. Look, I wouldn't come here if I didn't have any other option. Look, after what I saw in the news the other day, I do not have any patience helping him at all. Do you know that your friend's a criminal, son? Do you? No, I'm not a criminal. That was a whole misunderstanding. You broke into the mall and got caught like an actual idiot. Dad, Martin is my best friend. He needs our help. Well, I'm not going to help him at all, all right? No criminals allowed in here. So get out. Martin, wait, stop. Look, before you say anything, it's fine. No, it's not fine. My dad is acting like a total jerk. I'm really sorry. It's all right. It's not your fault. This is something I got to figure out. Well, maybe we can sneak you inside when my dad's not looking or something. That means a lot, but I don't feel comfortable doing that. Look, I'm going to go try to find somewhere else to stay. I'll keep you updated. Absolutely not. No. Sir, come on. You're telling me you don't even have a spare room or anything that I can stay in? Oh, we've got plenty of rooms, but they all cost money, which you don't have. Look, I just need a room. I mean, can I possibly work here or something for one? No. No, no, no. All right. All right. So stop freaking out. Oh, that's the third hotel that I got kicked out of. Oh, man. Am I really going to be homeless on the streets? No family, no anything? Hey, kid! Oh, it's you. You set me up. You completely got me arrested and everything. No, 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 no. I didn't do that. That's not true. I saw your parents there, I promise. Really? And why should I believe you? I'm an honest guy, all right? That was just a mistake. I mean, everyone makes mistakes. Well, what do you want now? I actually saw your parents at the local pizza shop. All right, well, where's the proof then, huh? I need to see some proof before I trust you. All right, just uh, give me your phone. I'll call them. All right, fine. Here. Later, loser! I'm out of here! <laughs> oh, man, now I literally have nothing. Thank you for the food. It really means a lot. Good luck, kid. Enjoy the food or whatever. Oh, finally, I have some food. I don't remember the last time I had a full meal. And that guy is nice enough to give me some. Time to go back to my home. 
Or at least what I have of one. <laughs> oh man, it looks like someone's having a hard time. Hey kid, are you alright? I've been on the streets for years now and I'm so hungry. I haven't had food in like a wicked long time. Look, the world's a harsh place, but I'm sure you'll make it through it. I just feel like if I don't have food soon, I'm gonna pass out or something. I'm just all alone and scared. It'll be alright, okay? Just keep your head up. Good luck. Oh man, did I really just do that? He obviously needs it more than I do. I gotta do the right thing. Hey, here, just just take this, okay? What? Oh my god, are you serious, dude? Oh man, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Don't worry about it, alright? This has to be by far the best New Year's Eve party ever! Happy New Year, Roblox! Well, wow, looks like they're having a great time. Can't believe it. Another holiday without my family. Hey, Happy New Year, Martin. Happy New Year's, man. I don't know, I guess it just doesn't feel that happy to me. Yeah, I've been where you are right now. Things are really tough. I don't know, I guess this is all just brand new for me. I haven't really gotten used to just being on my own. I know, it's a little scary at first and it's kind of weird, but trust me, things will be all right. Listen, I know you had a really bad Christmas, so I got you a gift. You got me a, a gift? No, you didn't have to do that. It's nothing special, it's just a sandwich. Well, thank you, David. I mean, it really means a lot. I'm just grateful that I have a new friend. Happy New Year, Martin. Excuse me, sir. Please, just please give me some money. I really need it. I have nothing. Absolutely not. Get out of my way, you piece of trash. Oh, are you serious? Does anyone have a heart anymore? No one's ever willing to help me. Daniel, just walk straight and act like you don't see him. Wait, Martin, is that you? Martin, dude, where have you been? If I'm being honest, I've been living around the corner in an alley. Wow, so now you're a homeless criminal, huh? Dad, stop. No, I won't stop. This is exactly why I didn't want you to continue to be friends with him. You know exactly what happened to me. I was forced on the streets. I'm trying my best. Oh, I don't have time for this. Daniel, if you're not behind me in the next five minutes, I'm leaving without you. Yeah, whatever, Dad. Martin, are you okay? No, I mean, things have been really rough. Well, how can I help? When was the last time you ate? I had a sandwich the other day, but... No, that's it. You're coming with me. Wait, so what happened to my house again? Some new family already moved in. It's really weird to see you not there anymore. I can't believe this. It's like my old life is just completely gone. Listen, I know my dad kind of hates you, and he's not letting me help you, but never hesitate to reach out to me. I'm always going to be your friend. That was nice to catch up with an old- What is going on? Why is everything on fire? Oh no! What happened to your stuff there, kid? Don't act like you don't know what's going on. I bet it was you. I bet you did it. I don't know what you're talking about. No, I'm just kidding. I was the one that did it. <laughs> I knew it. I knew you did it. Oh, when the cops find out, what are you going to do, huh? A homeless little kid is going to go run into the cops? They aren't going to care, buddy. I'm going to burn every little thing down, and there's nothing that you can do about it. You're not going to get away with this. Yeah, well, watch me. <laughs> oh, you're not getting away that easily. Get back here. Martin, stop, okay? It's not worth it. That guy is crazy. What do you mean it's not worth it? He just destroyed all my stuff. I have to do something about it. Martin, what are you really going to do? All our stuff is gone, and you can't get it back. You got to pick up the pieces and move on. I mean, I guess you're right, but how am I supposed to move on if I know he's just going to be out there? Like, what if I get something new and he just destroys it then? Listen, I was thinking we should move anyways. I was getting sick of where we were living. I think we need a new change of scenery, you know? Yeah, you're right. I think we should just move, like, far away from that guy. This wasn't personal, I'm sorry! You thief, get back here! Oh god, I gotta hurry, I gotta run. I think I can hide here. I'll find you and you're going to jail forever! Oh, that was a close one. I hate doing this. I don't feel right. Anyway, I have to hurry home and fast. David! D David, I made it back! Uh, what are you doing? Where were you? That's not important. Uh, how are you feeling? I'm okay. I feel a little worse than yesterday, but I don't know. I just don't feel good. Yeah, I mean, I can tell. But look, I got some food for you. And who knows, maybe I can find some medicine for you too. No, Martin, you can't steal medicine. That's not right. All you need to do is focus on becoming a better person. 
<coughs> you need to get out of this life. I mean, this seems like this is my life now, and I can't just leave you behind like that. You were forced into this life. You didn't have a choice. Well, if you're not going to do it for you, do it for me. I don't know how much time I have left. Don't think like that. Come on. I know you'll get better soon. I really need to figure out what I have to do. David isn't looking too good, and it looks like it's getting worse by the day. I need to find out a way to help him. Oh, Daniel? I'm sorry, who are you? Wait a second. Martin? Oh my gosh! Daniel, it's been forever! Oh my gosh, I know! Like five years or something? How are you? Well, I mean, take a look for yourself. You're still homeless? I'm so sorry. Really? I mean, I haven't really heard from you at all. Where have you been? Well, I've been busy. I got a job and... Just be honest, man. Your dad, he, he made you stop talking to me, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Whatever, man. You're just another person that abandoned me. Feels like everyone that I cared about did. I don't have time for this. I gotta go. Martin, stop. Please. Please wait. Why, so you can lie to me with empty promises? I just want to be left alone. Martin, stop, please. David, I made it back. I couldn't get medicine, but... Wait. David? David, where are you? Oh, no. David? D David! Martin, why are you shouting? Oh, well, homeless guy Clyde. I, I, I don't know. Uh, David, he's, he's missing. David did not go missing. An ambulance came and took your friend to the hospital. He's not doing well. Uh, I gotta go. I gotta go to the hospital now. I can't believe this. It just, it just doesn't feel real. David left too early. He deserves so much more in life than just this. He envisioned big things. Big things for the both of us. I can't just let him die in vain. I'm gonna get a better life. And I'm gonna make the best out of myself. Just like he'd want me to. I promise, David. I'm gonna make you proud. Absolutely not. Well, come on, just please, just give me a small chance. That's it, I've had enough with you. Get out of here! Okay, fine. Martin, hey. Daniel, what did I tell you? Just leave me alone. Wait, wait, please. Before you run off, just listen to me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Martin, okay? I made the wrong choice. I listened to my dad, and I did. I left you all alone, okay? I'm sorry. Well, how do I know that you mean it? Since I ran into you a couple days ago, I've been looking everywhere for you night and day. We've been friends forever. I would never hurt you. Yeah, well, you did. You hurt me a lot. But I can tell that you're really sorry, and I'm not one to hold grudges. I accept your apology. Listen, I'm going to make it up to you, okay? I kind of have a surprise for you. What's going on, Daniel? Why did you bring me here? You haven't even said anything. Well, this is the surprise. I told you I was going to make everything up to you. I'm getting you a job. No, you, you don't have to do that. I can find my own work. I know, but this is actually where I work, and we're looking for somebody. I already set up an interview for you and everything. Thanks, Daniel. I'll let you know how it goes. So you're Martin, huh? Daniel spoke pretty highly of you. Look, I don't know how many positions you have available, but I'll do anything to get this job. We're really looking for someone that's motivated. Someone that will get the job done. Well, as soon as you hire me, you'll see. I'll do anything that I can to prove that you made the right choice. All right. I like your attitude. Follow me. Here you go. This is going to be the most useful tool for your job. A broom? Yeah. The office needs a new janitor. This place is getting disgusting. The ground floor low entry job with low pay and long hours. Seven floors down, two more to go. Ah! What? What's going on over there? It sounded like it was from the restroom. What is going on in here? So what, you thought you could just flood the bathroom? No, I just got here, so I mean, obviously I didn't do it. Uh, I don't have time for this. I need you to clean this up, and you're demoted to garbage, man. All you do is take the garbage to the dumpster, that's it. Can't even handle a simple job. Oh man, I can't believe this. I never liked your face ever since you started working here. Okay, well, I'm just trying to clean the area. I don't know what to say to that. Yeah, well, that's why I flooded the restroom, depending on you, stupid garbage man. How cold-hearted do you have to be to do this? I don't know, man. I don't have time to think about that stuff. I'm too busy doing my more important job than you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go back to my desk. Can't believe I got demoted. All I know is I need to work really hard to get out of this situation.
Martin, I need to talk to you. I heard the conversation you had with Craig. Oh, that's his name. What he did was completely unacceptable, and I fired him. Listen, I'm really sorry I went off the handle like that. It's okay. Uh, don't worry about it. I want to make it up to you, so I was wondering, do you want his job? I mean, it's like a low-level job, but it's something better than what you're doing now. Wait, you're really going to give me his job? So I don't have to be a garbage guy? Yeah, yeah, I'll take it then. Th thank you so much. Uh, good job on the promotion, sir. If you need anything, just, just let me know. I've worked months and months and it's just so hard. And look, I mean, now I'm part manager. Well, this is my first huge purchase. And look at it. I'm so proud of myself. And I know Dave would be proud of me too. Now I have actually somewhere nice to sleep. I think I have a perfect idea on how to celebrate this. Great party, Martin. Happy holidays. Thank you so much, Daniel. And you know what? This actually did spark an idea for me. I've been wanting to do it for a while, but I think now's the perfect time to actually do it. Do what? What are you talking about? Well, ever since that morning, waking up with no presents, no family, I don't want any kid to go through that. So I want to start my own charity. And I want to make sure that every kid wakes up on Christmas morning with a present in front of them. Whoa, that's a super generous idea, but that's gonna be a lot of work, a lot of presents. Which is why it's important that I start working on this right away. Whoa, this is a lot more than I expected. Hey Martin, I've got some more gifts for your charity. Wow, thank you so much. The more the merrier. Within a whole year, you got one of the biggest charities in all of Roblox together. This is insane. Just think of all the people's lives you're gonna change. Just a small little gift, but they're gonna be so happy. Well, that's why I'm doing this. And hey, look, I mean, thank you so much for donating the gifts. Uh, do you wanna go out for dinner or something? Yeah, why not? Are you buying? <gasps> oh my gosh, look at all the presents. <laughs> hey boss man, look, there's all the presents. I just said that, you idiot. Gosh, new minions. First, we have to steal them. Now get to it. Everything you see, every little last present, take it and make sure it goes back to the base. All of this will be mine. No more presents on Christmas. <laughs> you have no idea, no idea at all who did this. Everything that I've been working for is just gone. Officer, you must have some kind of lead. Listen, I'll do my best to find out who it is, but it's gonna be tough. We surveyed the crime scene. There's absolutely no leads. Whoever stole from you guys is obviously good at what he does. Yeah, I understand that, but we need to get the presents back. I mean, they belong to the kids. They need them. All right, I'll do my best. Well, I guess they're gonna try their best, but what are we gonna do now? All I know is I'm gonna do whatever I need to to find out who did this. I just can't let them get away that easily. In the meantime, we've got to think about the presents. Should we ask people to donate another round of gifts or something? I guess. I mean, I guess you're right, but it's not good enough. I'm not just going to let someone get away with this. This had to have been planned. And I'm only going to find out who did this by asking around. You know, I'm looking around at all these gifts, and there's one thing that comes to mind. Oh yeah, what's that, boss? Oh, there aren't enough presents! What is this? Some measly little couple gifties here and there? No! I want more! Alright, uh, well, where do we find more? People have them in their houses! It's the holidays! So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sneak into people's houses and steal their presents. Ooh, ooh, uh, I think we should go steal from people's houses! Great. Now that we have it all figured out, let's go steal some gifts. Come on! Yeah, this house looks good. Come on. Oh, look at all the presents. Start stealing them. Hey, hey, what's going on down here? I knew it. I knew this was too easy. You, punch them. Okay, uh, uh, punch. Oh. All right, now let's get out of here, bozos. This was only the beginning. Oh my gosh, I've been searching the city the entire day now. I've been looking everywhere and I just haven't heard anything yet. Ah, uh, someone has to know what's going on. I need to figure this out. What, my phone? Da Daniel? Hello? Everything all right? Martin, we've got a big problem. My dad and I were just robbed. You guys were robbed too? What was stolen? I'll give you one guess. Don't say another word. I'll be right there. 
Daniel, what happened? My dad said these three weird guys came running in the house. One of them really smelt like bad cheese. But then they punched him and knocked him out. And they got away with all the presents. Okay, did your dad see which way he ran? They went down the street and took a left, I guess. That's good enough. I gotta go. Oh man, this is a dead end. But wait, are those footprints in the snow? I gotta follow them. I need to see where it takes me. Looks like the prince let me here. What is this place? It looks like a facility or something. Is that a garbage can full of open presents? Yep, this has to be the right place. I guess there's only one thing left to do. I gotta keep my voice down. Otherwise, they're gonna hear me. You open the gifts without me? I told you not to! Oh, uh, no, but there's, there's a valid reason for it. And what is that? I wanted to. You know, minion number two, I love your honesty. And I also love how stupid you are. Oh my gosh. You don't understand. When I was little, I got no gifts. No one loved me. And now because of that, no one else is going to get gifts. They're all going to belong to me because I deserve it. So this is where all the gifts are going? Are you serious? You can't just steal people's gifts like that, man. Um, yeah, hi, private secret base here. Who are you? I'm the guy that's gonna turn you in. You're completely selfish. Only ever thinking about yourself. Uh, duh, that's what I do. That's kind of the point. Ugh, I'm so sick of this conversation. Goodbye. Ugh. Oh, what's going on? What happened? That is right, ladies and gentlemen, it is Christmas Eve, but that does not necessarily mean that that is a good thing. It's Christmas Eve already? How long have I been out? Countless of children are reportedly sad because all of their presents have been stolen and everything has gone missing. If a Christmas miracle doesn't come into play, then thousands and thousands of kids will wake up tomorrow morning sad as ever. I can't let this happen. Oh, oh officer! Whoa, there you are. You're awake. Took you long enough. Yeah, I got knocked out pretty bad. Look, I found out exactly who's behind everything. You need to come with me to arrest them. Yeah, listen, that's great and all, but we can't just arrest somebody without the proof. You need to give me proof. But what if I prove it to you? I can set them up. You just need to be there at the right place and the right time. Well, we've got no other leads, so tell me where and when and I'll get a team there. Hey, big guy, I gotta talk to you. Um, I was just going over our plans and I noticed that you totally skipped one of the biggest houses in the whole town. Well, we thought we had enough. There's never enough. And the huge mansion out there means the owners have money. And that means expensive gifts. Oh yeah, you said you liked expensive gifts. Now you need to go out there and get all the presents that are in that mansion before my plan is ruined. Oh, wait, fine. No, I'll, I'll do it. Don't worry, boss. I got you covered. Oh, look at all these gifts. <laughs> They're mine now. Well, the boss is not mine. I knew it. I knew you guys would stop here too. Hey, I remember you. Well, that's good because I'm going to need you to tell me where you guys are keeping everything. I'm not telling you where the boss's secret base is. You think I'm dumb? I got five bucks. Oh, yeah, okay. The boss's base is just outside the city. All right, uh, thanks. I gotta go. What? Hey, where's my five dollars? Yeah, hi, uh, what's going on here? Who are you? I told you that I was gonna be the one to turn you in. I've never seen you before in my life. Yeah, yeah, likely story. Yeah, officer, this is the guy. And as you can see, he has all the presents stored here. What? No, it wasn't me. You're lying. You're a liar. Boss, so now that they found out that we stole everything, uh, what are we going to do? You idiot. You just gave us away. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that's it. You both are under arrest. Told you it wasn't going to work out for you. Little do you know, it always works out for me. <laughs> Losers, bye! Try to catch me, you fat idiot! Ah, <laughs> uh, he's not getting away that easily. Come on, come on, let's go, you stupid car! No! Oh, stupid car! You're so old and stupid, I hate you! There's nowhere left to hide now, Stinkleberry. That is not my name. It's Donald J. Finkleberry. 
Finkleberry to you. Whatever, man. Just give me the present. No, I'm not giving you the present. It's mine, you loser. You calling me a loser isn't going to change anything. Look, I know you went through so much as a child, but I did too. But you don't see me just stealing presents left and right. Yeah, because you're not smart enough to think about it. It's because I learned from my past. I didn't become it. Just give me back the gift now. I'm out of here. Bye. <laughs> oh, man. At least we got all the presents. And we got them back just in time for the kids to enjoy their holiday. Here you go. This is the last one. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Oh, I'm so glad I'm making these kids days. <laughs> no, the kid doesn't look like he has a home. <laughs> hey, look, uh, I have a spare gift. Uh, here, you have it. Is everything all right? I don't have anyone to celebrate the holidays with. No, I know exactly how that was like. It's awful. And look, if you're still around, I'll bring you a Christmas dinner too. Wait, really? You're just gonna give this to me? Yeah, of course. I want you to have a good Christmas too. I know what it's like being homeless. And you actually remind me a lot of my friend. And I hope he would be proud of me. Mom, Dad, the weather's getting really bad. Are you sure we're gonna be okay? Wait, you're worrying, Kyle. We've done this trip thousands of times. But the weather's never been this bad before. Well, we don't have another choice. We don't want your grandfather to be alone on Christmas. Everything's gonna be fine, okay? Ah! <sighs> Mom! Dad! Help! I can't find them! Mom! Dad! <sighs> so cold. Oh no, Mom. Dad! What am I gonna do? I've gotta go after them. And I can't have them be alone on Christmas. That's like the worst thing in the world. Wait, smoke! There must be a fire nearby. Perfect! This is just the thing to keep me warm. I can't believe this is here. Now that I'm looking at it, it looks like someone made this fire. Hey, you! What do you think you're doing? Look, if you're here to rob me, I ain't got nothing. You got it? I'm not here to rob you, I promise. I think you're a liar. Why else would you be out here? I'm just trying to stay warm, please. I was just in a shipwreck. I don't know where I am and I'm freezing. Where are we? We're in the middle of the woods, you idiot. Look around. Can you at least point me in the direction of the nearest town then? Nearest town's a couple miles that way. Now go! So this must be the place. Wow, look at that beautiful Christmas tree. It reminds me of our Christmas tree. So my parents are really gone, huh? No, I'm not gonna let that happen. I can't think my parents are gone. I've just gotta stay positive. Whew, maybe I should also look for some food too. This place looks like it'll do the trick. Oh, no, it's locked. Ah, I guess they're closed. What am I gonna do for food now? Hey man, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. I don't know where I am. I'm starving. My parents are nowhere to be hey, found. Hey, hold up, calm down, man. Everything's gonna be all right. Do you need someone to help you? Yeah, yeah that, that would be great. Why don't you come with me? I'll help you. Thank you so much for taking me in. I don't know where I'd be without this. Yeah, not a problem, man. You looked like you were definitely in need of some help. So what happened to you? Well, long story short, there was a huge storm and, and I was on a ship with my family and it sunk. Whoa, whoa, that's crazy. Yeah, and I haven't been able to find my family ever since. All the water this time of year must be really cold. Probably didn't make it. I'm really sorry, Kyle. No, no, I know they're out there somewhere. I'll find them. <laughs> You sound a whole lot like me a couple years ago. Wait, what do you mean? Both my parents died in a car accident. I've been on my own ever since. So if anyone knows what you're going through, it's probably me. Wow, Liam, I'm really sorry about that. But I think my parents are still alive. I just know they are. If I survived that disaster, then I know they could too. Kyle, from my experience, the best thing you can do right now is just be honest to yourself and start moving on. There's no way I can do that. I made a promise with my family. We're gonna be home for Christmas. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's just about Christmas time, huh? Let me show you how I usually spend my Christmas. Whoa, Kyle, check it out. Look at all of these presents. I know there's like a ton of them. Is this your family's house or something? What? No, we're here to steal <laughs> these presents. We're what? Shh, keep your voice down. Someone might be home. You've gotta be kidding. Nope, I steal my presents and I usually have my own Christmas. But now this year, I've got you. No, no way. What? I'm not gonna ruin someone else's holiday. This is totally messed up, Liam. This is not messed up. This is my life. Are you calling me messed up, Kyle? Breaking into someone's house and stealing their Christmas presents has to be one of the worst things somebody can Let's do. Let's steal presents. Hey, what are you two doing in my house? Oh no. Kyle, run. Adrian, call the cops. Get back here. Over here. Oh, oh man, 
I think we got away with it. We could have gotten in some serious trouble. You know, it's all your fault, right? My fault? Yeah, you should have just shut up and taken a gift. Now my Christmas is ruined. What am I going to do? Dude, you're terrible. You can't just steal stuff just because you want it. You have no idea what you're talking about, do you? It's not like they needed those gifts anyways. We do. We're the ones that are alone, Kyle. Sure, we might be alone, but there's no good in taking other people's gifts. And I don't think that your parents would have been happy with what you're you doing. You better shut up right now. You don't know anything about my parents. You don't know anything about me. You're right. I may not know you, but I do know what's right and wrong. And what you just, and what you're doing is completely wrong. I've had enough of this. I think it's time we go our separate ways, Kyle. Fine. Good luck finding your dead parents. And good luck being a criminal. Man, I thought Liam was my friend. I guess you can't trust everyone that you meet. If my parents knew I did that, they'd be so mad at me. Oh, my parents. I still gotta find them. And I still haven't eaten. Oh, man, stupid car. I hate this thing. Why won't you start? Hey, do you need any help with that? No, I think it's kind of hopeless. This car's dead. Oh, man, I'm so sorry. Yeah, so am I. This was my only car. I don't know how I'm going to get around anymore. Sorry, man, I'm being rude. Uh, my name's Phil. Oh, hi, Phil. My name's Kyle. What are you doing out here all on your own? It's snowing out. It's a really long story, but I lost my parents. You lost your parents? Oh no. Yeah, and I've just been trying to find them. And I've been trying to find something to eat. It's been a while since I've had some food. Well, I can fix that for you. Uh, I run a restaurant. Wait, really? Yeah, we can hit there now. I'll make you something to eat. We gotta walk though, cause my car's the worst. Wow, thank you so much. Wow, this food is really great. Oh, hey, thanks. You know, my mom taught me everything I knew. I'm still surprised. I heard about that shipwreck on the radio. I didn't think anybody survived. Wait, so no one was found? That's what they said on the radio. It's going down as one of the worst shipwrecks in history. Seriously? Well, I'm still alive, so my parents must be too. I just need to get home and then figure out how to find them. You know, Kyle, I really want to help you. And I really hope you find your parents. But, uh, I gotta stay here and run this restaurant. Otherwise, my family won't have Christmas. Yeah, I understand. It's okay. Thanks for the kind words, though. Here, it's not a whole lot of money, but it'll at least get you started. Whoa! What do you mean, not a whole lot of money? This is way too much. Oh, uh, it's nothing. My restaurant does pretty good, and you really need the help. It's the holidays. I want to make sure I'm giving back, too. Gosh, Phil, thank you so much. This is gonna help so much. I just know it. That was so nice of Phil to give me that money. Now I can afford to get a bus ticket? I can finally get home. Things are finally looking up. Wow, skipping town already, huh? Let me guess, you're too good for this place. Uh, just leave me alone, Liam. And you know what? I am leaving, and I'm never coming back. How? Oh, let me guess. You stole some money after all, huh? Like I'd stoop to your level. Well, there was no way you could afford a bus ticket if you couldn't even buy a piece of gum. Well, actually, Liam, I was given some money. It was an act of kindness. Act of kindness? Yeah, right. I'm being serious. Well, no one does that for me. That's not fair. Your parents have been dead for like, what, 12 hours? Might have been dead for years. They're not dead. I'm the one that should deserve the money, not you. You don't deserve anything. What you need to do is focus on being kind to others. Maybe then good things will start happening to you. Well, I think good things are going to start happening to me right now. Huh? Oh! <laughs> Later, loser. Oh, oh, man, my head. Wait, oh, he took my money? You've got to be kidding. What am I going to do now? Now I really have nothing. Man, what is that racket? Kyle, what are you doing? I thought you were getting on a bus. Phil, I was just robbed. Robbed? Oh no. Did you get a good look at the guy? Oh yeah. I definitely know what he looks like. Well, uh, we'll have to call the cops and let him know. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. All that money that you gave me is gone. Well? No, no, I can't take any more money from you, Phil. Well, honestly, I don't have a whole lot left to give, but uh, I got my car working. I can drive you home instead. Really? You do that? It's pretty far away. Uh, don't worry about it. You know I want to help. Wow. You're a real lifesaver, Phil. This is it. This is the place right here. Oh, awesome. I can't believe my car made it. Thank you so much, Phil. Thank you for everything. Oh, uh, it's no problem. I hope you have a great Christmas, Kyle. Enjoy it with your family. And you too, Phil. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right, this is it. Time to go see my parents. Mom, Dad, I'm home. Wow. Look at these beautiful Christmas decorations. Mom? Dad? Wait, 
They're not here. Where could they be? Kyle? Grandpa? Oh, Kyle. Oh, it's really you. You're okay. Grandpa, what are you doing here? I heard the news and I came over as quick as I could. The news? What news? Oh, Kyle, it was reported that you and your mom and dad died at sea. Oh, no, 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 no. Where's mom and dad? Kyle, so sorry they never found them. The funeral is tomorrow. <laughs> David, my son, this beautiful wife, Maria, will miss you so much. Grandpa, this isn't right. Kyle, stop it. They're not dead. I know they're not. Kyle, this is already hard for me as it is. I can't have you acting like this. This is just too much. I know this is a lot, but you need to accept the facts. Your parents are gone. They did not survive. Be thankful that you did. I'm not believing it. My parents are still out there. And you know what, Grandpa? I'm going to find them. Kyle, stop this, please. No. I'm sorry, Grandpa, but I have to go. I've got to find Mom and Dad. Kyle. Kyle, no! That's right, the boy was presumed dead. Here he is, right here. Excuse me, Kyle. You have a moment to talk to Chip Westerly from Channel 5 News? Uh, yeah, sure, I guess. Now, it's incredible that you are the only survivor from probably the worst shipwreck in history. What's it like to lose your parents on Christmas? I didn't lose my parents. If I survived, then they survived. I'm not going to be alone on Christmas. I know that they'll be back. Aw, oh, poor boy. I like your enthusiasm, even in hopeless situations. If anyone out there knows anything about this boy's parents, please let him know. Give this boy a Christmas he can remember. Thanks for that. Of course. Good luck with everything, Kyle. I wish you the best. I can't do this. I can't do this without you, Mom and Dad. You won't be alone for long, I promise. Well, it is possible someone might have survived. You did, after all. That's what I'm saying, but no one believes me. I know my family's tough. They can get through anything. Well, that water was below freezing. If they were in it, they had to have moved quickly. It wouldn't last long in that kind of water. But unfortunately, when we went back for the ship to search, there was no one there. Well, are there any other towns or places in any direction away from where I was before? Well, you washed up on the eastern shore. I think there are a few places out there. Really remote. Very hard to get to without a boat, honestly. Well, do you think you could possibly give me a ride so I could check out some of those places? I'm really sorry, Kyle, but it's super dangerous. This time of year, storms could come out of nowhere, and our ships could be toppled over by rogue waves, or worse. It already happened once, and I can't afford to put more of my ships in danger. I don't care. I need to find my parents, and this is the only way. Please, won't you reconsider? You know what? Fine. It's the least I could do. I think we'll be clear. Meet me here tonight. <laughs> oh no, Grandpa? Oh, Kyle, you you came back, thank goodness. I, I'm fine. I, I wasn't crying at all. Grandpa, you're not fooling anyone. Talk to me. What's going on? I'm sorry. I'm sad we're celebrating the holiday like this. I know how much you love Christmas. It's just gonna be different from now on. Grandpa, cheer up. Everything's gonna be okay. I hate to tell you this, but I'm leaving. Leaving? Kyle, you're not going anywhere. I'm sorry. I'm going to go save mom and dad. No, you are not, young man. You need to stop living in denial immediately. I'm not living in denial. I'm just not giving up like everyone else. Giving up? Kyle, it is dangerous out there. We already lost your mother and father, and I can't lose you. Grandpa, don't worry. You didn't lose them, and you're not going to lose me. I promise I'll be back with my parents. Well, here we are. We made landfall. No storms this time. Yeah, thank goodness. Now, there's a lot of random places out here, but the wilderness, that is dangerous. You need to be careful, Kyle. I will. I'll explore everywhere and anywhere that I can to find my mom and dad. I wish you the best of luck, but I've got to ship off. I've got to return. All right, well, thank you so much for everything. Anchors away, boys. Oh, it's almost Christmas Eve, huh? What is it, two days until Christmas? That means I just have two days to get back to my family. Oh, my family. They're still out there. I've got to be strong. I'll never find them if I'm not. Oh, no. The captain did say these woods were dangerous, but he never said anything about wolves. I need to get out of here or else I'm going to get eaten. Oh, oh, man. I'm exhausted. I've been running all night. 
couldn't stay in one place with those wolves chasing me. And what am I gonna do? I've got nowhere to hide. Huh? What's that in the snow? Are those footprints? I better follow them. Wherever they go, there's bound to be somebody. Whoa. It's a whole town. I better look around and see if anybody can help. Hello? Hello? Is anyone here? This place is completely abandoned. What happened to everybody? Don't move. Ah! Put your hands up. Uh, please. Please don't hurt me. Give me all your money, kid. No. I, I don't have anything. Please, somebody help. Oh, there's no one here to help you. Found you. Ah! Gerald, leave this kid alone. Whatever, Jack. Ah, big stupid idiot. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks to you. Who was that guy? Yeah, it's just Harold. Some homeless lunatic. Causing nothing but problems. That's why he ran all the way down here. You said you're from a town? Well, where is it? Uh, it's a really long hike. Probably about, uh, what? Eight hours north of here? Oh, man. Eight hours? Can you point me in that direction? I've got to get there as soon as I can. Look, kid, you look exhausted. There's no way you'll make it. Probably last about five minutes before you collapse. Honestly, you're probably right. I haven't slept and I was chased by wolves all night. Look. Follow me and I'll take you to the safety cabin. That way you can rest up and I can show you the town first thing tomorrow. So that's why you're out here all on your own? Yeah, I've just really got to find my parents and I know they've got to be somewhere. Man, I'm really sorry that happened to you. Being separated from your family, that's rough. But I think your parents ended up here after the crash. Well, I know they're around here somewhere. I think they might have ended up here after the crash. Look, I don't want to get your hopes up, kid. I don't know if these are your parents, but I heard about some survivors from a shipwreck. They're currently living in the town. Wait, really? They're here? Rescue's supposed to come pick them up any day now. That might be them. Hey, hey, calm down, okay? Like I said, I don't want you to get your hopes up, but it could be them. Well, what are we waiting around here for? We should go right now. You still haven't gotten rest yet. You need to build up some strength. It is a long hike back to town. I've lived in these woods my whole life. I'll get you there in one piece. Come on, Kyle, keep up. And here we are, old Frostvale. This place kind of gives me the creeps. Used to be an old ski resort, but it's been kind of a ghost town lately. Well, is there anybody left? Nope, there haven't been people here in years. Well, then where do you think my parents are? The only two people left were staying in that cabin right over there. That's gotta be them. I know it. Mom? Dad? Uh, what? Uh, we don't have any kids. Who are you guys? I'm James and this is Kelly. Who are you? Oh my gosh, are you another survivor? Yeah, I was hoping to find my parents, but you guys aren't them. Uh, sorry, dude. Well, have you seen them anywhere? No, honestly, I thought we were the only survivors left. No, 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 no. <laughs> Kyle, are you alright? No, no, I'm not alright. I think my parents might actually be gone. Aw, oh, man. I'm not really good at this kind of stuff. I'm sorry. I just, I just really don't want to be alone on Christmas. Today's Christmas Eve, and we still haven't even come close to finding them. Hey, don't give up, okay? Just because they're not here doesn't mean they're gone forever. I know, I know, and I'm really trying to stay positive, but... No one's seen them. How are we supposed to look for them? Look around you. These woods are big, and there are plenty of places that people might be hiding. Caves, alcoves. If your parents are tough like you say they are, they can survive this. You think so? I've taken survival classes for years, and I will help you find them and be your guide. Wow. Thank you so much, Jack. That means so much. No problem. Just, uh, stop crying, all right? How you doing over there, Kyle? I think I'm keeping up just fine. Yeah, you're doing pretty good. So we check the ravine, we check the gorge. There's a few more places we can search. Maybe your parents made it to one of them. Just stay close, okay? I don't want to lose you in all this snow. Don't worry, I'm right behind you. You heard that, right? That sounded like someone needed us. Wait, Kyle, don't oh, run off. We've got to help him. Oh, this sucks. Oh my gosh, are you okay? No, dude, I'm not okay. Oh, it's my ankle. Jack, we've got to help this guy. Don't worry. Our camp is nearby. We'll take you there and I'll fix up your ankle. Oh, really? Thanks, man. I thought it was a goner. So what on earth were you doing out there? Do you have any idea how dangerous these woods are without a guide? Yeah, that's what the guy told me. But I run a nature blog, and I was trying to get some good holiday photos. And then I got lost in the woods, and I was trying to find my way out. And let me guess. You weren't watching where you were going, and you fell into a snowbank. Uh, yeah, pretty much. You got lucky we stumbled on you. People don't go hiking in the woods this time of year. That's crazy. Thank you both for your help. The woods are so dangerous. What are you two doing out there? Well, Kyle here, uh, 
was looking for his parents. Yeah, I got separated from them after a shipwreck, and ever since, they've just been missing. Wow, well that's funny. What's funny about losing your parents? Well, when I first started out in the woods, I met up with this couple, and they told me the exact same thing. They were in some boat wreck, and, and they were looking for other survivors. Wait, really? Do you know where they would be? Uh, I think I can tell you where they went, if you give me a map. Oh, this is great! This might actually be them! Thanks again, guys! I really appreciate all the help! Yeah, of course! We're glad you're okay. Now, don't go venturing off in the woods again. Uh, got it! Good luck finding your parents, Kyle! Alright, ready to go? Of course, more than ready. What is this place? I have no idea. This isn't even on the map. Must have been a new town they were trying to build. Yeah, and it's Christmas themed, but it's a mess. Why would someone build this and then destroy it? I don't have a good feeling about this. Me neither. Well, well, what do we have here, huh? Hey, back up. You don't tell me what to do. Wh who are you? What do you want? You two need to shut up. I'm the one in charge here, and you're coming with me. Ugh, we don't have time for this! You two are gonna shut up and do what I say! Now tell me, what are you even doing up here, huh? Helping the kid through the woods. Yeah, we're looking for my mom and dad. <laughs> What's so funny? Do you think I'm dumb enough to believe that lie? Now, how did you really get up here, huh? I'm telling the truth! You with the cops? No! I think you're lying to me. Well, I think you're crazy. Hey, shut up! Looks like you found the wrong place. Are you the one that destroyed that village? Of course I was. I'm making my way all over the mountains, taking the villages, and I'm taking control of everything. That's horrible. Why would you do that? Because I'm sick of this holiday season. No one's going to be celebrating holidays anymore. And my plan starts on Christmas Day. I'm going to strike and take over the entire area. Everyone will do whatever I say. This land will belong to me. Kyle, this guy is insane. I said shut up. You're crazy. What is your problem? My problem is you fools coming and trying to destroy my plans. Getting in my way. No one's going to stop me from achieving my goals. No. Ooh. Ugh. Man, that guy talked way too much. Jack, how did you do that? Ah, uh, it was nothing. Now, come on. Let's put him back in the cage. Let's figure out where the heck we are. We've got to look around. There has to be something here to lead me to my parents. Hold on, Kyle. Did you hear that? No way, Mom! Mom! Kyle? Is that you? It's me, Mom. I, I can't believe I found you. Oh, Kyle, I've been worried sick. I'm so glad you're okay. I'm so glad to see you, Mom. I've missed you so much. Where's Dad? I think your father was taken by that crazy man. <sighs> Of course he did. And he was the one that kidnapped me and your father. I escaped, and I've been trying to save your father, as well as trying to find you. Well, don't worry. We're together now. We'll find Dad. Why don't you take your mom back to town? I'll talk to that maniac. So tell me, what's your name? Name is Sid. Haven't heard of me? Huh, not at all. Where's Kyle's dad? We know you have him somewhere. <laughs> that loser is in a far away spot. He was trying to ruin my plans. So I had to keep him from escaping. Look, your game is up. We've already notified everybody in town. You're going to be in a lot of trouble. And now you're locked up, so there's nowhere left for you to run. Ugh, I'm not going to give up anything. Well, looks like I'll just have to go through your computer. Hey, those are very valuable documents in there. Don't do anything. Don't worry. I'll find it on my own. Hope you enjoy staying in that cage. Ah! All right, here we are back in town, Mom. You need to stay here and be safe, okay? You need a ton of rest. What? No, 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 no. I just found you. You are not leaving me here without you. We should look for your father together. I'll find him, and everything's gonna be okay. <sighs> okay. Please be careful, okay? Of course. And I'll bring Dad home, Mom. I promise. Your dad should just be up ahead. That crazy man gave me the coordinates where he's located. Should be here. This is it, huh? Must be the place. Well, come on. Let's go find my dad. Just be careful. We don't know what's in here. Kyle? Oh my gosh, dad! Kyle! You're okay! Oh my gosh, my son! Dad, thank goodness you're okay. 
Oh my gosh, I've missed you. I miss you, son. Your mother and I were worried sick. Wait, your mother? Don't worry. She's perfectly fine. Oh, thank goodness. That crazy man locked me in here. I tried to stop him, but uh, I don't know how to get out. I gotta find a way out of this cage. Dad, whoa, calm down. I can open it from the outside. Oh, okay. It feels so good to be back together. I'm really sorry, Kyle. Sorry? Sorry for what? You have nothing to be sorry for. I promised you we'd be able to spend Christmas together back home, and I failed you. Don't worry, Dad. We're together. That's all that matters. And I think I know a way of getting you home for Christmas. I'm so grateful that we're all alive, and that we're finally all together again. Our family is so strong. We stick together no matter what. That's right, honey. I'm also thankful your friend Jack got us that plane ride out of there. We got home just in time. David, Maria, Kyle, my family, you're all here. I'm so happy. Kyle, you were right. They were alive. See, Grandpa, I told you, everything's going to be okay. Now, come on, let's all go inside and spend Christmas together. Man, I hate this. I hate being alone on the holidays. It's so awful. I mean, I'm alone all the time, but... It makes it even worse this time of year. I sort of remember my family, but I don't know what happened. We got separated when I was a kid, and now I'm just out here all alone. Gosh, I hope someday I'll find a family of my own. I gotta find a way to make some money and get myself my own place to stay. Gosh, I'm just so stressed out. Hey, what are you doing over here? Nothing, uh, I'm not doing anything. You're not allowed in the store because you can't afford anything. You understand that? I'm not in the store, I'm just standing outside. Oh yeah, you don't think you're causing any trouble? You being here is causing trouble, you get that? Look, I'm really sorry, I just don't really have anywhere else to go. It's just passing the time. Yeah, well you can pass the time somewhere else. Why don't you go back into the dumpsters or something where you came from? Hey, I'm a person too. Don't treat me like this. Treat you like what, like this? Ow! Another year without my brother. I'm so sad about it. Look, uh, your brother was lost when he was so young. He probably doesn't really even know you anymore or care. But that doesn't make it any better, Kevin. I'm just so upset. It's all my parents' fault. They should have been more careful. It's not your parents' fault. He just wandered off and then nobody knew where he went. I mean, people searched for him for years, Nancy. I know, I know. I just want him to come back, and then that way we can have another chance of being a family again. I mean, it can't be really that hard to find him. I mean, people have seen him around. We just haven't been able to figure out where he is. Well, Kevin, maybe we should go search for him. That way, he won't be alone on the holidays. Yeah, I mean, we can if you want. Whatever you want to do, just don't be upset if he doesn't want to talk to you. I mean, he barely knows you. I know, but I just want to make sure he's safe. I'm so excited, Kevin. Let's go start looking. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that person did that to me. Why is everybody so cruel? I can barely even eat. And I got people over here just screaming at me, making fun of me. Why is the world like this? I don't know. It's just I'm constantly alone all the time. Hey, what is that nonsense back here? All I can hear is crying and annoying sounds. Uh, I'm sorry, officer. It was me. What are you back here trying to steal people's trash again? No, I'm not trying to steal people's trash. I'm just trying to hide out. Well, I don't care. This looks pretty bad to me. What? It's not bad. I'm telling you right now, I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm literally just trying to exist. We got a lot of complaints about people like you around here. What is that supposed to mean? You know, the gross homeless type that like to steal people's stuff and smell really bad. Why does everybody try to define me because I don't have a place to live? And just because I don't have a family? Haha, <laughs> you don't have a family? My gosh, you are a loser. I don't get this. Just stop, please. You're supposed to be here being nice to me. Oh yeah? How about this for nice? You're under arrest! No, no, I can't be! Yes, you are. Now let's go! No! You'll have to catch me first! Hey, get back here!
My gosh, I can't believe it. I can't believe I outran that cop. I'm gonna be in so much trouble, but... You know what? No, I shouldn't be. He was trying to use my situation against me. And it's not my fault. I've been like this my whole life. I'm just trying to survive. Maybe I should go and try to find my real family. I mean, they've got to be out there somewhere, right? There's got to be a way for me to know where they are. It's not like they just abandoned me. Maybe they did. I can't remember. But I need answers. I need to know. I need to be with people that I care about. I can't be alone forever. Hey, what's up? Oh, hey, uh, nothing? Yeah, I was just wondering, uh, what are you doing out here? Um, nothing. I, I, I'm just wondering. Yeah, that's cool. Well, uh, hey, ma'am. I was wondering. Yeah? What? Why don't you give me all your money right now? I don't have any money. I literally have nothing. Then I'll take whatever you have, man. No, please, just leave me alone. Look, dude, if you don't want to get hurt, give me everything that you have. Fine, I'll give you what little I have. I mean, I have basically nothing. Yeah, well, now you have nothing. Haha, <laughs> loser. I can't believe all my stuff is gone. This is the worst thing that could ever happen. I mean, I've been in some pretty bad situations, but now I have nothing. That little bit of money that I had is gone. What am I gonna do now? How am I gonna eat? Gosh, I shouldn't have to worry about this stuff. Hey, you, thief! No, 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 you have me mistaken, sir, please. You ran away from me earlier. Yeah, because you weren't listening to me. You don't get to just run away from me, stupid. I'm not stupid. Well, you're homeless, aren't you? That doesn't mean I'm stupid. Why does everybody have to treat me this way? Maybe because you smell like cheese. Yeah, well, you don't smell too good yourself. Look, I've had enough arguing with you, okay? You're under arrest. Please, no, there's got to be some sort of mistake. I was the one that was robbed. There's a thief around here. You should go catch him. What were you robbed of? You have nothing. I had some stuff. Yeah, well, you have nothing now. You can't prove anything. Please, you're supposed to be helping me, not being mean. Yeah, well, I don't really care about you, so why don't you come down for questioning? How about that? No, uh, wait. Wait, look over there. Oh, huh? what was that? At least I was able to get a fire started. Thank goodness I know some survival skills. I guess I have learned a lot. I need to stop letting people treat me like I'm nothing because I'm not. I'm a good person. And if they want to treat me that way, that's on them. But I don't have to listen to it anymore. All I know is that I have a family out there somewhere. And there's got to be someone that cares about me. So no matter how hard it gets, I have to make that my mission. I have to find them and I have to keep them in my life. Oh no, what are you doing here? Oh, dude, that's funny, it's you. Did you follow me? No, I saw a fire and I thought it was an open invitation. Why would you rob me, man? Yeah, I don't know, dude, survival, okay? You're lucky I didn't take anything else. Well, I don't have anything else and you know that. Yeah, I know, I know, I don't have much either. Yeah, it's terrible. Hey man, I heard you mention it when you were talking to yourself about that, you know, how you have family and stuff. Yeah? Well, look, uh, I get it, you know, I'm alone too, and I've seen that name in the graveyard not too far from here, the one that you were saying earlier. Uh, okay. Yeah, maybe you should go check it out, I don't know, maybe it's someone you're related to or whatever. Maybe I can help you figure it out. Wow, thank you so much. Yeah, I don't mention it. Hey, any chance I can get my stuff back? <laughs> yeah, right, dude. Happy holidays. I finally found her. My mom. I can't believe that she's gone. If she was still around, I wish I could talk to her and figure out what happened. All this time, I've been lost and I've been searching and... My gosh, I feel so stupid and sad. I just miss you, mom. I barely even got to know you and now it's too late. This is the worst holiday ever. Why did I even try? Oh, maybe there's some other people out there. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm so lost and scared. <laughs> 
Please, just somebody tell me what to do. Oh my gosh. Officer, we've been looking for him for years, and please, you have to have some kind of information about him. Yep, 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 I know who you're talking about. We see that kid all the time, he's a punk. What do you mean by that? He's terrible, he's homeless, he steals, he smells bad, all the above. What, really? And no one thought to contact me? I mean, I'm his sister. Honestly, we just didn't really care about him. Why would we even care to call anybody? He's just gonna be another criminal. Stupid homeless person out there on the streets. Hey, maybe you shouldn't talk to people like that, man. That's kind of messed up. Maybe you should shut your mouth, stupid. All right, enough of this. I don't want to listen to it any longer. If you know where my brother is, why don't you just tell me? Well, I'm not really sure. I mean, sometimes the homeless people like to go and hang out in the graveyard or they hang out downtown. I don't know what to tell you. We're always arresting him. Maybe he's even in jail right now. Okay, well, can you check the jail so at least I know he's not there? Lady, I got stuff to do. Why don't you go find your own brother? Fine. Some help you are. Well, I guess this really is the only family that I have. I mean, I know that there's more of them out there. I was just so young, I don't remember. I guess I'll just have to stay here with you, Mom. Celebrate the holiday like this. Oh my gosh, this is the saddest day of my life. And it should have been the happiest, but I can't believe that this is what it turned out to be. My gosh, will things ever get better? Timmy? Timmy, is that you? Uh, please, don't hurt me. Yeah, I'm Timmy, but uh, I'm not doing anything wrong. Oh, we're not here to hurt you, Dad. Timmy, I'm your sister, Nancy. I've been looking for you forever, and here you are. Wait, really? I didn't even know. I mean, I, I sort of remember I had a sister, but I was so young. What happened to me? You were lost, and it was so hard to find you. People would report sightings of you, would go and try to look, and then there would be no sign of you. Oh my gosh, I just, I can't believe this right now. You're here, and you're alive. This is great. All this time, I thought everyone hated me, and they just left me and abandoned me. And then I finally found my mom's grave, or our mom's grave, and I thought this was the only family I'd ever have. Well, not anymore, man. We're your family now. I can't believe this. Timmy, how about you come stay with us from now on? Seriously? You mean it? Of course! Please! It would be my honor. Gosh, I haven't had new clothes in so long. I'm so glad you're here for the holidays. This is awesome, Timmy. I've wanted my family back together for so long. I appreciate you not giving up on me like everybody else did. It seemed like they just chalked me up as a loss, and people have been so cruel to me, Nancy. I know, but all that's over now. I got you plenty of gifts, and we can just hang out and have an awesome time. I'm just so excited to have a family again. Hey dad, I know there's no Christmas tree this year, but I was wondering, are you gonna at least cook me some dinner or something? What'd you just say to me? I was wondering if we could have dinner. I'm starving. We haven't eaten anything. Man, you are an annoying kid, let me tell you. That's why your mom left you. It's not my fault that mom left. You know that. It is your fault. Nobody could ever love you. Not even your own mom. Dad, please stop saying these things. You know it's not true. What's your problem? My problem is I'm stuck with a good-for-nothing son. That's my problem. Dad, please, come on, man. It's the holidays. Can we at least try to get along? I ain't never get along with you. Not after my wife left because of you. She didn't leave because of me. She probably left because of you. I don't want to hear no more arguing. Well, look, Dad, I... 
I got you a little gift. I know it's not much, but... I hate this! Are you kidding me? Dad, what are you doing? That's what I think of your stupid gift. Now why don't you get out of my face? <laughs> oh, man, you're awful! Oh man, I can't believe it. It's the day that the school has the best cake in the world. Oh man, it's too mad I can't afford any. Well, maybe the person at the cafeteria will hook me up. Hey, uh, excuse me, could I have a piece of cake? Uh, yeah, it's gonna be about three, uh, wait, how much is it? Uh, 350, yeah, 350. Look, uh, I don't mean to be weird or anything, but I actually don't have any money, but everybody else is having cake, and I was wondering if there was any extra, if I could just have some. Oh my gosh, that's what you want? You just want something for free, is that it? Well, uh, I mean, I don't know. I just can't afford the cake. I just wanted to be like everybody else. Well, you're not like everybody else. You're a poor loser. You can't even afford cake. Hey, come on, please quiet down. You're embarrassing me. What's the big deal? You guys are gonna throw it all out at the end of the day if it doesn't get eaten. Yeah, well, you can come back at the end of the day and eat it out of the trash. How would you like that? Please stop yelling, please. People are looking. You're embarrassing me. Everybody take a good look at this guy. He just wants stuff for free and he doesn't want to help. All he cares about is himself. What a loser. No, please. You got me all wrong. Please. No. <laughs> Man, this day can't get any worse. <laughs> Bobby, are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Bobby, come on. What's wrong? I can tell that you're crying. Look, it's just been a really bad life, honestly. I mean, my mom's gone and my dad's super mean to me. I got him a Christmas gift and he literally lit it on fire in front of me. What kind of person does that? I would come to school and all I want is the special cake that we get once a year and the guy just has to start yelling at me and making fun of me. Oh, Bobby, I'm really sorry. I don't know. Just things just keep getting worse and worse. Look, things are going to get better. I promise. I know it seems like right now everything is the worst, but this is only a small little piece of time. Things change. Don't worry. I don't know, man. I really hope so. I just I miss my mom. When was the last time you saw her? I don't know, it was like two years ago. She promised she would come back and she just never did. And then she left me with my dad and then my dad blames me for my mom leaving. My whole life is just a mess. Oh, Bobby, I'm really sorry. But look, I'm sure that somewhere out there your mom is thinking of you. I don't know, nobody ever seems to think about me. Unless they want to say something mean. Bobby, you just got to keep your head up high. I promise things are going to get better. Yeah, well, thanks for the advice. Wow, I can't believe it. There was a toy drive at school and I got to keep this dragon. This is so sick. This is like the nicest thing that I own. And I know it's stupid, but it kind of gives me hope. You know, like, things are gonna get better, even though it's just a dumb toy. Bobby, what are you doing in here? Nothing, Dad, nothing. What is that? Oh, Dad, I got this from the toy drive at school. They gave it to kids that weren't gonna get any presents this year. What? We ain't no charity case! You're over there taking free toys! Dad, Dad, they gave it to me. They said that they wanted me to have that. And what is it even? A dragon? What are you, some kind of loser hanging out playing with a dragon? They're not even real, Bobby. Yeah, I know they're not real. I never said they were real, man. They're just a toy. I know, but this makes me feel good, okay? It makes me feel like somebody actually cares about me. World don't care about you, Bobby. Nobody cares about you. And you know what? That toy ain't yours because it's under my roof. And I say it's mine. What, Dad? No, you can't do that. That was a gift for me. You don't deserve no gifts, Bobby. Now this is mine from now on. And I don't want to see you near it again. I'm going to go light this on fire like I did that stupid gift you tried to give me. Gosh, I hate you. You're the worst person ever. <laughs> oh, 
Man, it's so cold out here. It's better than being inside with that jerk. I can't believe he's my dad. He's like the worst person I've ever met. Why'd you leave me, Mom? Why? How could you leave me here with him? This is awful. All I want is my family back. But all I get in return is always alone. I never have anybody. Why would you come back for me? Why does everybody hate me so much? Oh, man, I can't take this anymore. This is awful. I just can't wait till I'm older and I can move away. Dad, can I talk to you? What is it, Bobby? I want to talk to you about Mom. I told you, you don't talk about her in this house. Please, Dad, it's really bothering me. What happened? She said she was going to come back, and she never did. Yeah, well, your mom's a liar. That's why. Dad, I miss her. Please. I I I'm tired of this. I feel so alone. Well, I can promise you one thing. She don't miss you. You think she'd spend all this time away from you if she cared? She don't care about none of us. That's why she's gone. It can't be true, Dad. She didn't just all of a sudden decide that she hates me overnight. Something happened between you two, and you're the one who messed this up. Don't you raise your voice to me in this house. I'll do whatever I want, Dad. I'm tired of you. You're tired of me? I've been raising you for the last 15 years. You don't think I'm tired? Well, I don't care, okay? I don't care what you have to say. All you ever do is run your mouth. That's because this is my house and I can do what I want. Whatever, you know what? I don't care. I'm going to go find Mom. Yeah, if you leave to go find her, you better not come back here. Good, I never want to come back here again. Man, I have no money left on my bus card. What am I going to do? Oh, I'm not going to be able to get out of here. Man, I can't go back home. I'm never going back home. I can't be around that jerk. <laughs> Look at this sucker. Hey, hey, man, what's up? Oh, hey, how's it going? Uh, nothing. I just trying to find some money for the bus. That's all. Oh, man, you ain't got no money for the bus. No, I thought I had a little bit left on my ticket, but I don't. I got to get out of town. Oh, you got to get out of town. I hate you, man. I hate you. I, it happens to me all the time. Yeah, cool, man. Well, look, I, I'm i sorry. I just kind of want to be left alone right now. I'm having a really, really bad time. Hey, man, you can talk to me. Uh, what's going on? Nothing. It's fine. It's fine. Well, look, I can at least help you get some money for the bus. My buddy just bought a ticket and he can't go now. Wait, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was supposed to go home to visit his parents or something. I don't know. Maybe his cousin, somebody. He's going to visit somebody, all right? Okay, I don't really care who he's visiting. He has an extra ticket? Yeah, yeah, look, I can sell it to you at a discount, okay? It's gonna be great. All right, yeah, I mean, I have a little bit, but I don't have enough for the full ticket. Yeah, yeah, no problem, no problem. The kid's just around the corner here. You wanna come with me? <sighs> yeah, I guess, sure. All right, great, great, great. Come on now, let's go. Hey, Ralphie, hey, look at, check this guy out. This is, uh, what's your name, kid? Uh, my name's Bobby. Yeah, yeah, right, this is Bobby. Now, Bobby's got a problem. He's got some money, but he don't got enough money to get on the bus. Now, Bobby's trying to get on the bus, and I told him about the ticket that you got. Ha <laughs> yeah, 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 I got a ticket. How much money you got? Uh, I don't know, I kind of have to go pretty far. I said, how much money you got? I don't know, like 20 bucks or something? But it's like all the money that I have. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 20 bucks will do. That sounds good for me. Wait, really? You'll you'll let me go on the bus? Wait, hey, he didn't say nothing about going on the bus. He just said he'd take the 20 bucks. Wait, I thought you said you were gonna sell me a bus ticket. Do I look like a bus driver to you? Do I look like the kind of guy who just stands around and sells tickets all day? Wait, but your friend here said that, hey, hey, I didn't promise nothing. You know what, though? He did promise me that he would get me 20 bucks from some loser that was sitting outside by the bus stop. Wait, no, guys, you're acting weird. I, I think I'm out. I Just leave me alone. Uh, nah, I see. Here's how it goes. Uh, you're not going anywhere. Yeah, get him! Ow! Oh, man. 
man, my head hurts. Doctor, am I gonna be okay? Yeah, you are. Don't worry about it. You're gonna be fine. Oh, man, that was awful. Yeah, I mean, you got robbed. It wasn't great, but hey, you're gonna recover. Don't worry about it. And it looks like you have a visitor. Yeah, well, if it's my dad, tell him to go away. I don't want to talk to him. Bobby, is that you? Uh, Mom? I'm gonna leave you guys be. I'll see you later on. Mom, what are you doing here? Oh my gosh, Bobby, when I heard the news, I had to rush here as soon as possible. How are you? I, I miss you. Where have you been for the last two years, Mom? You just left. You never called. You never came home. You said you'd come back for me. And you left me with Dad, and Dad's the worst person. Oh, believe me. I know. He's the worst. Oh, you, you'll never believe this, but I, I had to leave him. One night, he got so mad, and he stole all the money from our bank accounts. And then he said I could never see him again. Or you. So he put me in the car, and he dropped me off in another state, left me penniless on the side of the road. Oh, Bobby, it's been a tough journey, but I've never stopped loving you or thinking about you. I've missed you so much. Oh, man, I, I miss you too. This whole time, I thought that you just never wanted to see me again. Oh my gosh, no, never. Bobby, you're my son. You're my pride and joy. I think about you every minute. Oh, man, Mom, well, whatever happened, I'm just really glad that you're here. And I don't care if you're even homeless. I just want to be with you. I can't go home to dad. Well, don't worry. You never have to leave me again. I, I got a great house, a wonderful job now, and you can finally come home and stay with me where you belong. I would love that, Mom. That sounds so great. Mom, I can't believe it. I never thought that things were gonna go back to normal. And look at this place, it's so beautiful. Well, thank you, Bobby. You know, this is what happens when you work really hard. Sometimes you could be out on your luck, but I never gave up hope and I never stopped working because I knew one day I'd find you again. And here we are, what a great time we're having. I know, and I can't believe that dad got arrested for stealing all that money from you. I mean, it's a bummer that he's my dad and he acts like that, but maybe he's gonna get the help he needs in jail or something. I don't know. But I'm just glad that we're all back together. Me too. I love you, Bobby. I'm so glad we're here. I love you too, Mom. My gosh, I can't believe this is really happening. Me and Carly have been together for so long. I can't wait to marry her. She's the love of my life. Sir, I think I'm ready to buy that ring. Okay, do you have enough money? Yeah, I have it, right here. Can I have the ring? Yes, and I'm surprised you didn't give up. I would never give up. I wanna be with Carly for the rest of my life. Well, that's beautiful. Good luck with everything. Oh, thank you so much. She's gonna be so excited. Hey, hey, what do you got over there? Oh, hey, nothing. I, I'm just heading home. I just saw you coming from the jewelry store. I think it's time to maybe you give me what's in your pockets. What? No, no, please. Please, no, I can't. Oh, I think you can and you will. Please, I'm going home to propose to my girlfriend. I've been saving all year for this. Please. All right, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna beat you up right now or you're gonna give me everything that you got. I got friends waiting up the road and if you try to run, they're gonna get you and we'll keep getting you and we'll keep finding you until you give us everything you got or you can just empty your pockets right now. Oh, please don't do this. Your choice, kid. Carly, oh my gosh, you're never gonna believe what happened. Hey, hey, what's going on? What are you doing? Oh, hi, Chase. Um, yeah, as you can see, I'm moving. Wait, what are you talking about moving? We live here. We didn't buy a new house or anything. Oh, yeah, no, I know you live here, 
but like I'm leaving. I'm leaving you and I'm leaving this house and I hate to say it, but like our relationship, it's over. No, please. Oh my gosh, Carly. I was just at the store trying to buy a ring to ask you to marry me. I got robbed on the way home. That's what I was going to tell you. Don't go. Why are you leaving? What happened? Ugh, here you go with all your excuses as to why you just can't commit to me, Chase. You know, it's been like 13 years of this and I really just can't handle it anymore. And besides, um, I just never would have married you anyway. I'm in love with Chet Flenderson. What, the guy from TV? What are you talking about? How do you know Chet? Wait, are you saying that you're, you're like with Chet? Mm, yeah, you could say that. We've been like talking for the last year. Um, and I know him because he's all over the TV and he's handsome and you're just, you know, kind of you. I can't believe this. I can't believe you would do this to me. Why? Please don't go. Look, I'm sorry you're upset, Chase, but, like, I don't have time for this. My Uber's here, so I gotta load up the car. Bye. It's a New Year's celebration for the century. A brand new decade is starting here on Robloxian TV. Hi, I'm Chet Flenderson, and I'm here to celebrate with you all night long until we ring in 2020 together. I'm so excited. This has been a great decade, and I can't wait to start a new one with my brand new girlfriend, Carly. If you're out there watching, Carly, hi! can't believe this. I can't believe that she would leave me for Chet Flenderson. I mean, who does that guy think he is? Just because he's on TV and he's super famous and he's got good hair and a nice personality? I can't believe this. Everything is falling apart. This is supposed to be a new decade. This is supposed to be the start of something fresh, not the start of something awful. I never thought I would be alone tonight. On New Year's Eve, I mean, this is the night you're supposed to spend with the people that you care about. The only person I care about has been taken from me. I can't do this. I can't sit here alone all night. Oh, man, maybe I should go get some food or something. At least being around other people will make me less lonely. Uh, hi, excuse me, sir. Uh, I'd like a table. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. How many people? Uh, just one. <laughs> okay, now seriously, how, how many people? And do you have reservations? No, no, I'm being serious. It's just one. And uh, no, I don't have any reservations. <laughs> You're gonna eat dinner by yourself on New Year's? Uh, yeah, I don't have anyone to hang out with. <laughs> what a loser! Oh my gosh! Oh, I thought this was a joke, but you're serious? Oh, you poor, poor man! Hey, come on, please. I just want a table, that's all. Well, I'm sorry to inform you that you cannot have a table on New Year's Eve. Not by yourself! Oh, why not? I'm a paying customer. My money's good here. No, 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 not on New Year's Eve. See, New Year's Eve is a night for everybody to get together and have a good time. We have huge parties that come in. They spend tons and tons of money. We can't sit here spending our time waiting on some poor loser who's just gonna spend $10 on a cheese plate and then leave. I wasn't even gonna get the cheese plate. I've seen you in here before. You get the cheese plate every time. Come on, seriously, you're not gonna let me in? I don't see your name under the reservations, and tonight we're only taking parties of four or more. Come on, please, I really need this. Why don't you try going to make some friends? I have friends. Yeah, well, go hang out with them then. You're not gonna eat here, now get out! Can't believe this, this can't be real life. Nobody wants me. I can't even go and get some dinner by myself. This is ridiculous. Man, it's getting cold out here. <sighs> Whatever, I gotta go find a place to stay warm. Oh, I guess I could go to the coffee shop. Hey, welcome to the coffee shop. How's it going? Honestly, it's not going too great. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. <sighs> it's okay. It's been a really, really long night. My girlfriend left me. I was robbed. And now I'm just alone on New Year's Eve like some loser. I just, I don't know, I'm just really upset. I'm sorry, this isn't your fault. I shouldn't be telling you this. Oh no, don't worry about it. 
kind of seems like you really need someone to talk to right now. I'm sorry all these things are happening to you. Oh, it's okay. Honestly, I'm really glad that I'm here talking to you now. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm glad you're in here too. Hopefully your night can turn around. I hope so. I mean, it definitely just got a lot better. Hey, I mean, I know I just met you, but a group of my friends are coming over tonight and we're having a little New Year's party. Seems like you don't really have much going on, so I'd love to invite you. Really? You? I mean, as long as I'm not imposing, like, if you really want me there, I'll, I would definitely come. Yeah, no, not at all. You seem like a really cool guy, and I'd like the chance to get to know you. Oh my gosh, that's, yeah, definitely. I'll go home and get ready. Uh, my name's Chase, by the way. Well, nice to formally meet you, Chase. My name's Ivy. But yeah, go get ready. My shift ends soon. Oh my gosh, my house! What's going on? Somebody help me! Hey there, kid. What is going on? Why is my house on fire? Oh, you didn't hear? Gas line blew up. Destroyed everything. What do you mean? There was a gas leak and it blew up. I mean, I couldn't be more clear about that. So my house is just ruined? Yeah, yeah, you ain't gonna live in that house for a long time. But you're lucky you weren't inside. If you were in there, you probably wouldn't have made it out. Oh my gosh, everything that I have is gone. This night can't get any worse. Yeah, well, like I said, it could have been worse because you could have been stuck in that house. Yeah, I guess it's good that I decided to go out then. But what am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? I don't know. Go get a hotel or something. Hotel? I don't have any money. I spent all my money on a ring to propose to my girlfriend and she left me tonight. Yeah, it sounds like a tough break, kid, but not really my problem. See, I'm in the business of fighting fires. I'm not a therapist and I'm not here to talk about your feelings, okay? Come on, man. There's got to be something that you can do. Yeah, I can put out the fire. You want to live in this empty shell of a house? Go ahead. But when I'm done, I'm going home to see my wife and my family. Oh, man, come on. Look, kid, you're getting on my nerves now, okay? Stop whining. Get out of my face. There ain't nothing you can do here. Now go! No, I can't believe it. I can't believe that I'm late. I can't miss this. I gotta hang out with Ivy. Hey, excuse me. Um, where's Ivy? Is she still working? Uh, no. Ivy left like three hours ago. Oh, man. I was supposed to meet her here like an hour ago. Uh, yeah, I know. And she got so upset that she left. No, no, please. You know where the party is? Do you know where she is? Uh, why would I tell you that? I don't know, we just met tonight and she wanted to hang out and I don't know, I just can't stop thinking about her. Yeah, see, here's the thing. I've been in love with Ivy for like the last two years and she's never given me the time of day. And now all of a sudden she meets you and starts talking about how like you might be the one and all this stuff and I'm not gonna help you out with that. Come on, man, please help me. This has been like the worst day of my life. Huh, let's see. Nope, not gonna help you. Oh my gosh, I gotta find her. She's gotta be somewhere. Please, you know her. You know her friends. Yeah, I know. And after I'm done with my shift, I'm gonna go over to the party. <laughs> Why are you being so rude? I mean, I was very clear about that. I'm in love with Ivy, and I don't want you to fall in love with her because she's falling for you. You understand what I'm saying? <sighs> Fine, whatever. You're no help. I can't believe you, man. Yeah, good luck finding her, loser. Man, it's getting late. Can't believe it. This is one of the worst days of my life. This is how I'm going to start off 2020. Homeless, alone, and now this one girl that I finally think could be somebody, somebody that I actually want to be with, is just gone. No, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to find that party. And me and Ivy are going to hang out together. And we're going to enjoy our time. Because I want to start spending my time around people that actually care about me. That actually want me around. Carly never did that. She really wasn't the right person for me. Maybe this is a sign. Maybe Ivy's the person that I'm supposed to be with. And all this happened to bring us together. I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna go find her. I don't care if I have to run around the city all alone. Oh man, I gotta find her. 
I don't know how I'm going to. I don't know any of these places. Ivy! Ivy! Man, this is pointless. I'm never gonna find her. Oh, man, I made a huge mistake. What if she hates me? What if she never wants to see me again? Chase! It's you! Hey! Ivy? Oh, oh my gosh! I've been running around the city looking for you! Wh what are you doing here? I was doing the exact same thing! You're supposed to meet me back at the coffee shop and you never showed up! I know, this is gonna sound really weird, but there was a gas explosion in my neighborhood and my whole house got destroyed, so I was dealing with that! And then I lost track of time and when I came back you were gone and then there was that mean guy that worked there and he wouldn't tell me where your party was and... Oh my gosh, I'm just so happy that I found you! I'm really, really sorry! Please, please forgive me! Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry about your house! And sorry about Neil. Yeah, he's kind of a creep. I don't know. But anyway, I'm so glad you're okay. I was so worried that something else had happened to you. And hey, we still got plenty of time before midnight. Let's go to the party. All right, we're getting closer to midnight, everybody, and I gotta say, 2019 was a great year, but I am so excited for 2020, and I would love it if you could live tweet us here at the station. Let us know what you're doing for New Year's and what's your resolutions. We'll be back when the clock strikes midnight. I'm so excited to celebrate with you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, Chase, I can't believe that she left you for that guy. He seems so boring and weird. Who even talks like that? <laughs> I don't know, it's so weird. It's been like a whirlwind of emotions today, but honestly, I'm kind of glad that she left me. I, I realized that she wasn't the best person for me. Yeah, I mean, I feel bad saying I agree that I'm glad she left you, but hey, I wouldn't have gotten the chance to meet you, so good for her. She should have left earlier. I know, I agree, and... Thank you for everything. I I'm really excited. This is like a new year, a new start, and I don't know, it's I think it's the beginning of something really great. Me too. I can't wait to see where the new year is going to take us. excited it's almost christmas i can't wait for santa to come yes son and you better be good this year otherwise you won't be getting any presents from santa oh man you know i've been so good i'm always trying to be the best that i can be i never get in any trouble dad you're right and you've been pretty good this year so my guess is you're on the nice list for sure oh that's awesome i'm so excited to spend christmas with you guys i love you both so much oh we love you too honey we love you too all right well maybe we should all go to bed that way when we wake up tomorrow it'll be christmas all right son that's a good idea you go hop into bed and we'll see you first thing tomorrow morning all right that sounds great all right sweetheart we should probably get to bed too okay that sounds great what what was that noise i don't know go check hey what are you doing here you better keep quiet shut your mouth right now Listen, I have a family. Please don't do anything to hurt us. Oh, well, I can't promise that. But I can tell you right now, if you come with me, things will be a lot easier. All right, all right, I'll go with you. Just just please leave my wife and child alone. Dad, what? Dad, is everything okay? Just stay in your room, son. Please, stay in there. Yeah, stay in there. It'll be easier when I take all you guys. First, I'm robbing everything you got, and then you three are all coming with me. No, that's not happening. Son, run! Run as fast as you can! Dad, I'm scared! Son, you run away as far as you can. Jump out the window and go. Just get out of here. Oh, all right, Dad.
man. Oh, man. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, my gosh. This is so scary. Look at this place. Oh, man. I hope my mom and dad are okay. I can't believe that I left them there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I can't believe this. Oh, I gotta run deeper into this cave. This is so scary. Oh, oh man. I can't believe this. Oh, this cave is huge. Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. Oh, I can't believe this happened on Christmas Eve. Oh my gosh, I wonder where my family is. I hope that they're okay. I just ran off. I hope that the cops came and got them. This cave is so spooky. Oh, I don't like being here alone. Um, oh my gosh, what was that? What was that noise? Oh my gosh, it's a wolf. Oh, I gotta run. I gotta get out of here. Oh, 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 I gotta go back home and see if they're still there. I gotta find them. No, no, my house. My parents, are they okay? Oh, this can't be happening. Hey, you. Listen, this is an active crime scene. You're not allowed to be here. Uh, w wait, what do you, what do you mean active crime scene, sir? I live here. You, oh, you, you live here? Great. Just who I was looking for. An occupant of the house. Listen, um, if you can't tell, the house is on fire. Yeah, yeah, well, there was a robber in the house, and, and my parents told me to run, so I ran. And, and now I came back for them, and oh my gosh, what happened? Are they okay? Wait, you, you just ran away? You left them home alone? Well, yeah, my dad told me to. Well, that's a little suspicious. Wait, what do you mean suspicious? I mean, I didn't do anything wrong. I was just trying to listen to what my dad told me. I was just trying to get away from the robber. Yeah, you know what the funny thing is? I've heard basically that same story like three times so far this week. Wait, wait what do you mean? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people. Apparently, there's a robber that breaks in their houses, and it seems as though I'm 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 on the hunt here. I think uh. I think I might have found him. Wait, oh, you found him? Good, good, good. Where's my parents? I don't- Listen, I don't know where your parents are, okay? They haven't been found yet. But the, uh, the man in- in question here is, uh, very suspicious. Oh, oh, good, good, good. Well, let's go get him. Let's stop him. Yeah, let's stop him, all right. So, uh, just slip on these handcuffs and then get in the police car, okay? Wait, wait, what do you mean? You think it was me? You think I did this? Of course you did it. I mean, who else would have done it? Look at this place. It's a blaze, like, a glory, okay? You need to just relax, settle down, and get in the police car quiet. No, no, I'm out of here. Stop right now. You're under arrest. Oh man, oh man, this is not good. This is not good. How could that cop think that I would set my own house on fire? This doesn't make any sense. Oh, oh, and it's Christmas time too. Oh, all those presents, my family, everything is gone. Oh, I have to sleep out here in this garbage tonight. Hey man, what are you doing here? Uh, hey, sorry, I'm, I don't really have any other place to go. This is the only place I could find. Any place to go? Dude, you're like homeless or something? Yeah, it's a really messed up story, but my family got taken away from me and my house got burnt down by this robber. And then I got framed for it. This police officer thinks that I did it, so I can't go home. I have nobody. I have nothing. I'm all alone. Oh man, I know what you mean. It's all right, though. I'm alone on Christmas, too, man. Oh, I'm, I'm really sorry to hear that. I'm really sorry to hear that. Hey man, you know what? Sometimes life happens. You just gotta roll with the punches, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no, that's true, that's true. Well, and the crazy thing is, is I think my parents are still alive. I just have this feeling, you know? I mean, they didn't tell me that they died in the fire or anything, but they were really weird about where they were. Yeah, man, that is weird. Hey, uh, look, do you have any, like, money? Uh, yeah, I have a little bit of money. I don't have a ton, but I have a little bit. Hey, you know what? You're gonna be alright, dude. You just hang out with me, and I'll make sure everything's okay. 
That sounds great. Can you help me try to find my mom and dad? I want to go looking for them. Yeah, yeah, man. Let's, uh, let's go see if we can find them. All right, that sounds great. Um, hey, I know that you said you were going to help me try to find my mom and dad, but, um, what are we doing out here in the woods at this camp? Hey, man, you know, you don't have to worry about it. Just relax, you know? This is kind of like where I hang out, and, like, I was just coming to, you know, meet a friend. Well, it's really cold out here, and I'm kind of scared, and this just doesn't seem right. Do you think we could go back? Uh, yeah, we, we can head you back. Uh, just give me a couple minutes, all right? I just, I'm just, uh, you know, waiting for someone. Okay, um, what are you, what are you waiting for? This is really odd. I don't, I don't know. This doesn't feel right. Plus, the storm's getting really bad. I think we should get back. What, what are you, like a baby or something? No, I'm not a baby. I'm just, I don't know. I've had a really rough day, and I, I just feel like something bad's gonna happen. I don't know, and... Hey, hey, hey! Is this the uh, is this the guy you would tell me about? Yeah, yeah, man, this is him. He's the one that says he's got some uh, some money on him. Um, yeah, I have a little money on me. Why? Why does that matter? <laughs> he doesn't even know. He doesn't even know. Well, let me tell you something. You got money on you, and you're out here. Well, that money becomes our money. You understand? Um, yeah, man, that's like our money now. No, I don't, I don't really understand what you mean by that. It means we're robbing you. You can either give us your money right now or we can beat you up and leave you here. Oh, no, please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Well, you gonna give us the money or what? Oh, all right, fine. Just give me here. Just take the money. Just leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, man. Look, I told you it was gonna work. <laughs> I know my mom and dad are out there, and I'm gonna find them. Now you explain to me right now. What's going on here? Oh, you think that's how this works, huh? You think you get to call the shots? You're the one in a cage. I might be the one in the cage, but at least I'm not a criminal. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I am a criminal, and you better show me some respect. Respect is earned, my friend. You haven't earned that yet. Well, uh, let's see. I did earn, hmm, all of your Christmas presents and everything inside your house. Ha 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 ha. You can't. You have to give those back. My wife and I worked hard to earn money to get all those Christmas presents for our kid. Oh, I'm sorry. That sounds like your problem, not mine. I'm the one who was smart enough to just take it. Yeah? And what are you going to do with those gifts? You don't look like you'd use them. No, I'm gonna sell them all. I'm gonna sell them back to the stores. And then once they're back in the stores, I'm gonna rob them too. Because I don't want anyone to have a good Christmas. I don't want anyone to have anything except for me. Well, that's pretty selfish, isn't it? That's not the spirit of Christmas. <laughs> spirit of Christmas, who cares about that? So you said you're stealing presents, but look, we're in a cell. You kidnapped us. What are you gonna do with us? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, uh, you're never getting out of here. What is that supposed to mean? It means you have two options. You're either gonna join me, or else. Or else what? Or else you're not gonna be breathing anymore. You catch my drift? Oh my gosh, it's so cold. I can't believe that those guys took my money. This is so scary. I mean, what were they thinking? This isn't right. This is the worst Christmas ever. I just want my mom and dad back. All I want is for us to be happy again. Hey, are you okay? Wait, hey, who are you? I'm an elf. Hey, what's your name? Hey, my name's Tommy. Um, what's your name? My name's Fred. Oh, hey, Fred. So what are you doing all the way out here? Oh man, I've had the worst day ever. You're never even gonna believe this, but a robber broke into my house and he kidnapped my family. Or worse, I don't even know if they're alive still. They burnt down my house. And then when I went home to see if they were okay, the cops thought it was me and I had to run away. I had to run away from my own family. Oh my goodness, that's awful. I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I'm just glad that you're here because, um, oh, the last guys that I saw were really, really bad and they stole all my money. Oh no. 
No, that's awful. I'm sorry. You seems like you're having such a bad day, and it's Christmas Eve. I know, and the worst part of all this is I have to be alone on Christmas with no friends and no family. Well, that's not entirely true. What do you mean? I'm going to help you find your family. That's why. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. That would be awesome. Of course. It's what we do, us Christmas elves. We help people. So, uh, you should come with me. All right, that sounds great. Let's go. Tommy, this is Santa. Santa, this is Tommy. He could really use your help. Well, hey, Santa. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I'm meeting you in real life. This is so cool. It's nice to meet you, Tommy. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you as well. Oh, man. This just made my day a lot better, even though it's been really, really bad. I know. I've, I've been watching what's been going on with you and your family. I'm so sorry. Oh, thank you, Santa. I know that you believe me that I didn't commit the crime. Of course you didn't. There was an awful robber that burnt your house down and kidnapped your family. Yeah, I hope my house isn't too ruined. I'd love to move back there someday. But, Santa, are my parents still alive? Of course they're alive, Tommy. Don't worry. They're just being held hostage. Oh, thank goodness. I mean, it's bad that they're being held hostage, but... I was afraid of the worst, you know? I didn't know if they made it out of that fire okay. Well, they did. And you have nothing to worry about because I'm going to use my magic and we're going to find them. Oh my gosh, Santa, that would be great. If you could tell me where they are, I could go and let them out. Yes, indeed. Let's see. Hmm. They're in some kind of warehouse and they're in the city. Oh, perfect. Wait, warehouse? City? Is it near the ocean? Yes, I can smell the salt air right now. Oh, I think I know where that is. Santa, I'm gonna head there and go and let them out. Yes, and good luck, Tommy. And don't worry, I'll be watching over you to make sure that everything's okay. Awesome, thanks, Santa. Oh man, I can't wait to go find my family. Mom! Dad, I can't believe this! I found you! Here, I'm gonna get you out of this cage. Oh, thank you, Tommy. You saved us. Oh, I can't believe this happened. Oh, so much bad stuff has happened. They thought it was my fault. They thought I committed the crime. Don't worry, Tommy. Everything's okay now. We love you, and you're here with us. Thank goodness you found us. How did you find us? Oh my gosh, I love you guys too so much, and you'll never believe it. Santa actually helped me find you. What? Yeah, that's right, Santa. I was in the woods alone and I was crying because I had just gotten robbed by someone I thought was my friend. And then all of a sudden an elf appeared and he told me that he'd help us. And he brought me to the North Pole and Santa told me where you guys were. Tommy, did you fall and hit your head or something? No, Dad, it's a Christmas miracle, I'm telling you. Okay, okay. I'm just glad you're safe. All right, Tommy, come on, let's go home. Um, Mom, Dad... The house got burned down in a fire. I can show you if you want. What? Yes, let's go. We have to check our house. All right, come on, let's go. Oh my gosh, Dad, I can't believe it. The house was put back to normal. Santa must have done this. Santa? You mean Santa completely rebuilt our house? Well, I mean, what else could it be? Dad, when I was here, the whole house was engulfed in flames. It was burnt down. This is crazy. Yeah, this is unbelievable. I, I, I'm so excited. Oh, I never thought I would see you guys again. I can't believe that you're home and we have a home. This is wonderful. This is wonderful news. I'm just glad you're safe and sound here with us again. We can go back to living our lives. I'm so glad too, Dad. I was so scared. I was... I, I, you can't believe the stuff that I went through. And that mean cop. I wonder whatever happened to that guy. He was convinced that I was the robber and that I burned the house down. Well, Tommy, that cop is wrong, obviously. You did nothing wrong. That's true. I'm just glad we get to spend Christmas together. And look at all the presents. This is amazing. I can't believe Santa did this for us. This is great. Well, Merry Christmas, Tommy. 
Merry Christmas, Mom and Dad. I love you guys so much. can't believe that tomorrow's Thanksgiving. I'm so excited. I gotta get a turkey or something for my family. Uh, excuse me, sir. I didn't see any turkeys on the shelf. Do you have anything? Yeah, yeah, we, we got some turkeys. Uh, they're on, uh, aisle four, if you want to go get them. I saw those, but they looked a little small. Do you have anything bigger? Oh, oh, you're looking for the big turkeys. Yeah, yeah, we got the big turkeys. Y you might have to go to the butcher to get some of those, though. Freeze, this is a robbery. Give me your money! Now! What? I, I don't really have a lot of money. I can give you whatever I have. You give me what you have now. Give me your money! What do you got? Hey. What's that? What's that noise? You! You called the police on me, didn't you? What? No, I didn't call the police. You saw me. I was here the whole time. Uh, you're gonna pay for this, pal. I'm gonna find you. <sighs> Our top story today. In continued string of robberies throughout the city, our local grocery was robbed today. Witnesses say no one was harmed in the robbery. However, the man seemed very threatening and intimidating and seemed intent on revenge on one of the customers. Oh man, this is so bad. I hope they find this guy soon. Uh, is everything okay, son? Not really. I was just watching the news. They were talking about that robbery last night. Really scared, Dad. What do you think he meant? He said I was going to get paid back for this. Well, son, maybe we should call the police uh, if you feel unsafe. I mean, I talked to the police, but they haven't done anything. I mean, they're just out there looking for this guy. What if he comes soon, Dad? I'm really scared. I understand, son. Don't worry. You're safe here, though. We'll make sure everything's okay. I know. And tomorrow's Thanksgiving, and I'm so excited that we all get to hang out and have a great time together. Me too, son. Me too. It's going to be a wonderful Thanksgiving. Looking forward to that turkey you picked up for us. Oh, yeah, about that. I'm going to have to get another one because uh, I didn't actually get to pick it up. Right, right. Uh, not to worry. I'll come help you this time. All right, that sounds good. Well, let's go get one now because they're going to be sold out. Ah, that's a great idea. We better get moving. dream. I gotta get something to drink. I'm thirsty. Where is everything? Hello, Mom! Dad! Mom! Where are you guys? Oh my gosh! Something's wrong! There's a note! What does it say? It says, I told you I'd be back for you. I will take everything from you. No! No! How could someone do this? And on Thanksgiving, I have to find my parents. I know that this is that robber. It has to be. It can't be a coincidence. Oh my gosh. I have to find them. I need to go to the police.
Excuse me, officer. I'm in some serious trouble. I found this horrible note, and I was the kid that was at the robbery, and I think my parents have been taken. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down, kid. <laughs> we got a lot of problems in this station, and yours is the least of them at this point. How is it the least of the problems? I mean, my family was kidnapped. That seems like a pretty big problem to me, and all of our stuff was stolen. Look, kid, I don't got time for this. We gotta solve real problems. Your family's probably not kidnapped. They probably just went to the store and then tell you something. No, I'm telling you right now, I have the note. That criminal, he told me he was gonna get me again. And I woke up, my parents were gone, and so was my stuff. This has to be connected. Oh, 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 wait, you have a note? Let me see it. Oh, this doesn't mean anything. How do I know the bad guy wrote this and you didn't, huh? Get out of here, kid. Wait, you think that I'm lying? You think that I did this? Look, I don't know who did it, and I don't care. We got other problems to solve right now. <sighs> Fine, you're no help. Yeah, well, you're not really helping us either, because we gotta find out who actually did some bad things, not this mysterious kidnapper. Look, at least send someone over there, please. <sighs> All right, kid, fine. We'll send someone over there. It's going to be nothing, though. And you know what? If you waste that time, we're going to charge you. Fine, whatever. Just please help me. Hey, excuse me, officer. What's going on? I need to get into my house. Uh, you think I'm just gonna let you in? Can't you see that we're blocking this house off? Well, I'm the one who called you guys. I'm just coming back from the station. I didn't expect someone to get here so quick. I appreciate it. Yeah, 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 whatever. Listen, kid, this is an active crime scene, okay? You're gonna have to step away. No, but, like, I live here. This is the only place that I can go. I'm looking for my parents. I I'm sure they told you that they were kidnapped. Parents kidnapped? You mean like grown adults being kidnapped? Yeah, that's what I just said. Somebody took them. I have the note. <laughs> yeah, right. I doubt anybody kidnapped your parents. I mean, they probably just ran away and left you all alone. I mean, I would look at you. Hey, come on. Knock it off, man. Just let me in my house, please. I don't have anything else, and it's Thanksgiving now. Listen, kid, I don't care if it's Thanksgiving, Christmas, or Arbor Day. You're not getting into an active crime scene. Now get out of here before I arrest you. Fine, I will. This is so unfair, though. Yeah, kid, life's unfair. Now get out of here. <laughs> My gosh, I can't believe this. I'm kicked out of my house. I can't go home. My parents are missing, and it's Thanksgiving. We're supposed to have this big, beautiful meal, and I'm out here alone in the streets. I need to find my parents. I need something. At least I got this little bit of food, though. Hey, kid. Uh, you're not alone. <laughs> you got me here with you, and you shouldn't be here. Mm, that food smells really good, though. Hey, uh, hi, my name's Paul. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm new to the area. I just, I'm going through a hard time right now. You know, Thanksgiving and all. Well, <laughs> we're all going through hard times, kid. <laughs> uh, uh, why don't you, um, let me have some of that food, huh? Um, I, I, it's not really enough for everybody, and this is the only food that I've been eating. I was thrown out of my house by some evil cop, and now I'm just stuck here on the streets. Oh. Yeah, me too. I was thrown out of my house by evil cops, too. That's how I got here. Oh, you should totally give me your food. <sighs> no, no, sir. I could give you a bite or two, but I just can't. I'm sorry. It's the only food that I have. Yeah, yeah, just a bite or two. Just a bite or two. Here, let me just hold it. <laughs> just hold it, and I'll take a bite, and then I'll give it right back. I don't trust you. I think that you just want my food. <laughs> Listen, kid. 
Give me that food, or I'm gonna beat you up. No, please don't. Just take it. Fine, I'll get out of here. <laughs> thanks, kid. Ooh, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> This is the worst Thanksgiving ever. I've lost my family, my house, my food, everything. I can't believe that that mean homeless guy just robbed me. I don't know if it can get much worse. But I know my mom and dad are out there, and I feel like they've got to be safe. I just know it. I mean, if no one's going to find them, i got to find them on my own. It's not right that nobody cares and that everyone's just giving up. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give up on my family. And I'm not going to give up on justice. These criminals need to be taken down. I can't stand this anymore. But what am I going to do? If I'm going to solve this on my own, I have to figure something out. Maybe I'll go back to the grocery store and retrace my steps. That might be a good idea. I can figure out what's going on in the criminal's head. And then I can just try to backtrack and see if I can find him. load this truck any faster gosh man this place is great you were awesome for showing me this town these people are suckers <laughs> yeah i know i'm pretty awesome aren't i these people are such losers <laughs> yeah you know and that kid that tried to stop me at the grocery store i kidnapped his family <laughs> Wow, that's a, that's a pretty evil thing to do there. <laughs> I, I like it. I like it a lot. That's perfect. <laughs> hey, when you're evil, you can do whatever you want. Ain't that the truth? You know what? This has inspired me to do something even more evil. Oh, yeah? What's that? Eh, you know, I think I'm just going to arrest that kid. Get him out of our way. <laughs> Throw him in jail. Oh, man. <laughs> That's a great idea, Finkleberry. Yeah, arrest that kid, then I'll be out of our way forever. Yeah, I know. And to be honest, every single one of my ideas is pretty great, so I'm kind of insulted that you'd say that. Uh, sorry, I, did, I didn't mean to insult you. I'm... Hey, listen, while you're arresting that kid, I got his parents locked up in his warehouse. I don't want to take care of them forever. Why don't you arrest them too and just put them all in jail? You know what? That's a great idea. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to arrest them and throw them all in jail. Perfect. You know, my ideas are great too, Fickleberry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep loading the truck. gotta be around here somewhere mom dad oh my gosh i found you son son is that you oh my goodness paul i can't believe it i really found you thanks for saving us son oh, i'm glad you didn't give up on us no, I knew you were out here. Dad, there's so many weird things happening. There's an evil cop who plans to arrest all of us. He says he's a cop, but he's not. He's in with the robber, the guy who kidnapped you. All right, honey. We need to go find a real policeman and arrest them. 
Oh, Paul, I'm so glad you found us. Now, let's go. We need to set the record straight. That's right. We're right behind you, son. All right, come on, guys. Let's get out of here before they find us. In our top story today, local robber gets caught at a residential home. In a confrontation with police, the robber who robbed our local grocery store just a few weeks ago was apprehended. However, apparently he was being aided by someone on the police force, and that man is still at large. Oh, uh, hey, Paul, is, is everything okay? Hey, Dad, yeah, it's a lot better. I'm so glad that you guys are home. This was such a stressful week. Yes, it was, son. Thank you for saving our family. Of course. I'd never let my family down. I knew you guys were in trouble, and I knew something was up, and I just wasn't going to stand for it. You know, son, you make us proud of you every day. Thanks, Dad. And hey, I know that we missed out on our real Thanksgiving, but I'm happy we're having Thanksgiving dinner today. I mean, that's what it's all about, right? Being with family. It doesn't matter what day it is. You know what, Paul? You're absolutely right. And today, we especially have a lot to be thankful for. Yeah, you're right. Oh, I can't wait to go see the Thanksgiving table. Can we go look at it, Dad? Sure. Come on. Let's go check it out together. I'm so excited it's Valentine's Day. I have the most romantic day planned for me and Chloe. I can't wait to go over our house and surprise her. Uh, Chloe? Uh, uh what are you doing here? Well, I was coming to surprise you. It's Valentine's Day. I wanted to go and do a bunch of fun stuff. Hey, kid, I think you better watch yourself. Chloe, what is Ben doing here? Uh, nothing, nothing. We were just, uh, we were just studying for school, yeah. You were studying? You don't like to study. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I promise we were just, uh, reading some books and stuff. Look, maybe we should just tell the kid. Tell me what? What are you talking about? All right. Look, listen, I'm, I'm really sorry, all right? But I cheated on you, and I've been secretly seeing Ben. What? Why would you do that? That's not fair. I don't know. He's just, like, so cool and funny, and, I mean, I don't know. Like, I'm sorry. You're sorry? Man, my heart is broken. I planned the most amazing day with you because I'm in love with you. All right there, kid. That's enough of this. Stop it now. No, this doesn't concern you. We've been together for three years. I'm telling you right now, shut your mouth! Look, man, just... Oh, my head hurts. Oh, what happened? Oh my god, I am so mad at you. You're mad at me? Somehow I got knocked out and ended up outside. Did Ben punch me in the face? Um, I don't know. I didn't see any of that, but you started a big fight. I mean, come on. We're just over here being together, and you gotta be all dramatic about it. And you know what? I'm really sorry, but the truth is I never loved you, okay? Nobody could love you. Well, I don't understand. I mean, we seemed like we were so happy. Why would you stay with me for so long if you wanted to be with Ben? I don't know. Look, I'm sorry about it, okay? But it, stuff happens sometimes in life, and I, I'm with Ben now, okay? I'm with Ben, and I, I don't want you to bother me. And I don't want you to bother me or Ben at all on Valentine's Day. But I had all these things planned and spent a lot of time and effort, and all I want is to know why you don't care about me. I mean, I get it if you're not in love with me, but I thought you were my friend. Yeah, I can't even stand you. I don't understand how anybody could stand you ever, okay? Just, I, I, I want you to just get out of my life forever, okay? <laughs> All right, fine. Fine, I'll leave you alone forever. <laughs> oh, I can't believe this. 
I can't believe she did this to me. Cash. Oh my gosh. Lance, what is going on, dude? Cash, I went over to Chloe's house to surprise her for Valentine's Day. And she was with Ben. And she's been cheating on me with Ben. I don't know what to do. Whoa. Bro, I am so sorry. Are you okay? I mean, no. We've been together for like three years. I feel horrible. I mean, she ripped my heart out. Dude, I've been there before. I know what that feels like. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I, I know. I'll get through it, I'm sure. But it just feels so bad to be betrayed like this. I know, man. It hurts really bad. Especially on Valentine's Day. Poof. That girl is cold hearted. Yeah, I know. And I had all these awesome activities planned and I had this great, awesome day and I just wanted it to be a good day. I wanted everyone to have a good day today. I know, dude, you're always so nice and positive and you just don't want everyone to be happy, but you have to be happy first. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. That's true, man. So why don't you go do something that'll make you happy today? Well, yeah, that, that could be cool. Hey, do you want to hang out with me while I go and do some stuff? Uh, 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 I would, bro, but, uh, I actually have a date tonight, so I cannot. Oh, man. Oh. Listen, bro, you need to stop crying over someone that doesn't care about you anyway, you know? It's just a waste of your energy. Why don't you just go and do something fun that you'd like, okay? All right. Thanks for talking to me, Cash. I appreciate it, man. gosh, I can't believe that I'm spending Valentine's Day alone. Well, at least this place has my favorite coffee. Can't believe you do this to me! How could you? Well, look, I didn't know. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It's a really big deal! You hurt my feelings and I can't trust you ever! Look, I'm sorry, Zoe, okay? It's not my fault if Rochelle likes me. But it's your fault if you go out with her. Yeah, but I mean, is it really my fault? I mean, what was I supposed to do? I was just trying to be a nice friend. Oh my god, you are absolutely terrible. I, I just, I feel like I can't even trust you anymore. You know what? You're being completely unreasonable and like so uncool. I can't believe you. I thought you were better than this. You can't believe me? Oh my god, this, I, I, I can't believe this is happening. You know, Rochelle would never do that to me. I mean, she's always so much nicer than you are. She never gets mad, and she doesn't care what I do. Well, she's not your girlfriend. I am. You know, that really, really hurt my feelings. Well, you know what? Maybe she should be my girlfriend and not you. I think I'm done with you. I am so sick of you. I'm out of here. Fine. Well, you can just go spend Valentine's Day alone. <laughs> Oh man, that was really messed up. I hope that she's okay. Uh, maybe I should go check on her. <laughs> um, hey, ex excuse me. It. Are you okay? What? Oh, hi. Uh, I'm just, I'm so sad. <laughs> yeah, look, I'm sorry. I overheard what happened and man, that guy was such a jerk. I know, I, I can't believe that my boyfriend would be such a jerk to me. Well, well, my ex-boyfriend now. <laughs> yeah, look, I'm sorry, that was really uncalled for. Nobody should be that mean to another person. I know, he was so mean. And it's on Valentine's Day too. I, I don't, I don't want to be alone on Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh man, well if it makes you feel any better, I'm alone on Valentine's Day too. I actually had a really bad morning, pretty similar to you. Really? What what happened to you? Well, I had this beautiful day plan. I was going to take my girlfriend on this awesome picnic into all of her favorite places in the city. And then at the end of the night, we were going to have this romantic dinner. And I go to her house to surprise her. And she was with another guy. She's been cheating on me for like a year. What? Oh my god, I, I can't believe that happened to you too! I can't believe it either. You know, you seem like a really nice person, and I don't think you deserve to be treated like that. Thank you. Uh, you too. Uh, I mean, 
Maybe we shouldn't be alone on Valentine's Day. Maybe we could go out together. Oh my gosh, you're reading my mind. That would be amazing. Um, what's your name, by the way? My name is Zoe. It's nice to meet you. What's yours? Oh, it's nice to meet you too. My name's Lance. Okay, Lance. Well, how about if you pick me up later? Yeah, that sounds great. All right, um, I'm gonna go home and get ready, and then I'll come and pick you up. Okay, great. Cash! 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 Yo, Lance, what's up? Dude, you're never gonna believe what happened. You seem like you're already in a better mood. What's going on? All right, so I went down to the coffee shop because you were like, hey, you should probably do something that you like. Well, I love the coffee shop, so I went to get a coffee. Anyway, I was in there, and this really pretty girl was fighting with her boyfriend, and he was being so mean and disrespectful to her. So he dumped her, and she started crying, and I went over to see if she was okay, and now we're going out on a date tonight. Wow, that's awesome, dude. See, all it takes is for you to be a good person and to treat people with respect and good things will happen to you. Yeah, it's true. I mean, I don't know. I know I just met this girl, but she seems like, oh, I don't know. She just seems so awesome. Like I felt really comfortable around her. What's her name? Her name is Zoe. Wow, pretty name. I'm very happy for you, Lance. Congratulations. Thanks, but now I have to go out on a date with her on Valentine's Day and all my plans got messed up. So I don't know what to do. Where do you think I should take her? I don't really know much about her. Well, I would take her to the probably the fanciest restaurant in town. Just get a really nice dinner and just talk and get to know her. Well, that's a good idea, but I don't really have enough money to go all the way to the fanciest place. I mean, do you think maybe she'd like to go to like, I don't know, Starbucks again? Uh, no, probably not, dude. Here, don't worry about it. I'll give you some cash, because, uh, you know, my name is Cash, and you can take her out. Oh my gosh, you're like the best big brother ever. Thank you so much, Cash. This is turning into a great day. I can't believe it. Hey, Zoe. Oh my gosh, you look beautiful. Hey, thank you so much. You look very nice as well. I can't believe that this happened. What strange circumstances that we would meet. I know, it's totally crazy. I can't believe it. I can't either. I'm so happy that I don't have to be alone on Valentine's Day. And I'm even more happy that I get to spend the day with you. Oh, me too, Lance. Oh, wow. Nice pickup line, Lance. Uh, hey, ma'am, what are you doing here? Oh, I just came to pick up my date. Wait, Zoe, what? I'm not your date. Just get out of here. Come on, I'm sorry, all right? Rochelle didn't want to be my girlfriend, so now you can be my girlfriend again. Isn't that great? Don't want to be your girlfriend anymore. Yeah, man, maybe you should leave her alone. Well, maybe you should mind your own business. Just get out of here, all right? I'm tired of you. I don't want to be with you ever again. Just leave us alone and go away. Come on, Zoe. Look, man, she said to leave her alone. Maybe you should get out of here. All right, you know what? I will, but I'm telling you right now, Lance, you're gonna be sorry for this. I'm so sorry about that. He's a total jerk. No, it's okay. It's okay. Um, let's not let it ruin our night. Let's go have a good time. Zoe, I'm so happy that you came here with me. I love this place. Me too. I really do. I'm having such a wonderful time. Aw, oh, thanks. I'm having a really good time too. Oh, well, hello there. I see it didn't take you a long time to find a new date for Valentine's Day. Oh, Chloe. Hi. Uh, this is Zoe. Uh, hi. Uh, nice to meet you. Whatever. Yeah, no, it was, it was funny how we met, but things seem to work out pretty well. Um, where's Ben? He actually broke up with me already. Uh, after we left, we got into a big fight. Um, so it's whatever. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Are you okay? Yeah, you know what? I'm fine. I just... I was kind of wishing that maybe I had spent my Valentine's Day with you instead. Yeah, well, unfortunately, uh, it didn't work out that way. And you know what? I'm actually really happy with my Valentine's Day. I'm having a great time. 
Great, you know what? You just enjoy your time with this ugly loser, okay? Wait, hey, don't say that. Zoe's nice. She's really beautiful. Whatever, I'm out of here. Oh, I'm so sorry about that, Zoe. That's my ex-girlfriend. She's kind of terrible, huh? That's all right. You know what? It's okay. It, it doesn't have to ruin our time. Let's just have a good dinner. Oh, man, I had such a good time tonight. This was great. Me too. I really had such a fun time. It was wonderful. I know. I know this sounds weird, but it's almost like it was fate that you and I met. You no, know, I, I don't think it sounds weird at all. I, I totally agree, and it's like it was meant to be. I know, and it's, it's strange. Like, even though I was with Chloe for like three years, I never felt this connection that I feel with you. You just make me feel like... I'm home. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet, and I feel the same way. Oh man, this is great. What an awesome Valentine's Day. I can't believe it. Really did turn out quite good. And look, I'm sorry again for what happened at dinner. My ex-girlfriend is crazy. That's all right. I'm sorry about my ex-boyfriend too. They're both wacky. But luckily, we don't have to deal with them anymore because, I don't know, now we have each other. That's right. I'm so happy. So, do you think that we could see each other again? Oh, I'd love that. I would too. Alright, it's getting late, so I should probably head home. Hey, I'll see you soon. Alright, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Chloe, what are you doing here? Hi, I just figured uh, maybe I could catch you and we could talk or something. Talk? What do you want to talk about? Didn't you do enough talking on my date? Yeah, uh, listen, I just want you to know that I really, really, really want you back, okay? And and I realized that I made a huge mistake, like huge, okay? So just maybe, maybe you could just take me back. Chloe, I don't know. I mean, you were really mean to me. You broke my heart this morning. I mean... How could you do that to somebody that you're supposed to care about? I trusted you. Listen, it was just like a mistake, okay? Mistakes happen. And I mean, we, we've been together for so long. And it's just like, uh, how could you just like move on like that? I can't even believe you. I don't know. Maybe I wasn't happy either. I didn't realize how poorly you treated me until I met somebody that was nice. I'm nice? What is that supposed to mean? Come on, just listen. Just, just... Listen to yourself, okay? Think about what you're saying. Just, just let's get back together. It'll be fine. No, I don't want to get back together with you. You cheated on me, and you made me feel like I wasn't a good person. And you know what? I am a good person. And I don't want to be with someone who's going to disrespect me. Just think about it, okay? Come on. No, you know, I thought about it. I don't want to. I want to be with Zoe now because Zoe's sweet and she's kind and she's smart and Zoe respects me and I respect her and that's what's really important. Fine. You don't want to be with me, that's fine. But you are going to regret this. Halloween is one of the most fun nights of the year. You get to eat candy, dress up, and hang out with your friends. It's always fun seeing all the costumes and watching scary movies. But what if you didn't get to be with your friends on Halloween? This is what happened to Jesse. He was looking forward to this day all year, but instead of it being fun, it was one of the worst nights of his life. This is why Jesse was alone on Halloween. I'm so excited it's almost Halloween. This is gonna be the most fun time ever. Oh, man, I don't know though. Something feels kind of creepy right now. Boo! <laughs> oh my gosh, why'd you do that, Thomas? <laughs> You're a scaredy cat, Jesse. You're a scaredy cat. Well, of course, you just jumped up behind me. You're so stupid. It's hilarious. Oh my gosh, I love making fun of you. It's so funny. Why don't you stop picking on me? It's not even Halloween yet. You can't just start scaring people now. 
Well, I'm getting in the festive spirit. Anyway, what do you care about Halloween? You don't have any friends. Nobody's gonna wanna hang out with you. That's not true. I have plans. I'm hanging out with my best friend and we're gonna go trick or treating. Nah, I don't think it's gonna happen because you're a loser. Jeez, Thomas, what has gotten into you, man? What's your problem? I got no problem at all. I got a lot of friends. I got people to hang out with, but you? Something tells me that you're gonna be alone on Halloween. I just told you I had plans, Thomas. Yeah, well, they sound like stupid plans that nobody else would wanna do anyway. Well, they're gonna be fun, and it's gonna be the best night of the year, and I'm looking forward to it. So just leave me alone, Thomas. You're such a whiny little baby. I can't stand you. Whatever. <laughs> Rylan, what's up, man? Uh, hey, Jesse. How's it going? It's going great. Halloween's coming up. I'm so excited, aren't you? Oh my gosh, it's gonna be amazing. We're gonna go trick-or-treating together. We're gonna get so much candy. It's gonna be insane. I know. I can't wait. I normally don't get to eat candy, but Halloween's so much different. Yeah, I know. It's not really good to eat all the time, but every once in a while, it's the best. Yeah, I can't wait. And, oh, we gotta figure out who the best neighbors are to go to first. I heard that Mr. Swanson hands out full candy bars. Oh my gosh, I thought that was just a rumor. I don't know if it is or not, but all I know is that we're gonna try because think about it, if we get all these free candy bars, we'll have candy forever, it's gonna be insane. I can't wait. Halloween is my favorite night. Do you have a costume? Yeah, I have an awesome costume. I actually kind of built it myself, which is really cool. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. You're like so talented, dude. I know. I just hope we don't run into Thomas. Ugh, I know. He is awful. Yeah, today he was like, you're not going to have any plans on Halloween. Everybody's just going to ditch you and stuff. Well, you know I'd never do that, Jesse. I'll always be there for you, man. I appreciate it. I just hope that they don't pull too many tricks, you know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. Well, we can't worry about that. We just have to have fun. Yeah, you're right. It's gonna be the best day ever. All right, well, let's get to class. We gotta get through this week before we get to Halloween. That's true, that's true, man. All right, sounds good. <laughs> Gosh, I'm so excited, it's finally Halloween! Rylan, hey dude, I'm outside! Hello? Well, I might as well go check to see if he's inside. Maybe he can't hear me. Rylan? Rylan, are you around? What is going on? Where is this guy? He's always home, this makes no sense at all. Hello? His mom's not home either? Maybe he's upstairs. What was that noise? I better go check. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Oh, Rylan, that's a cool costume, man. I really like that. He really scared me. Rylan? Rylan? How are you making that noise? Oh my gosh, I don't think that's Rylan! Oh my gosh! I gotta get out of here! Oh my gosh, all right, I need to calm down. Maybe that was Rylan just scaring me. Oh, there's no way he could have made those voices. What the heck is going on? Where is everybody? How could Rylan leave me on Halloween? I'm all alone! Oh no. <laughs> Jesse, cry baby, what's up loser? Thomas, leave me alone, okay? I don't have time for this. Where's your little friend? I thought you guys were gonna go trick or treating. Oh, I, he just wasn't home, that's all. We're still gonna go trick or treating. Ha <laughs> ha, I knew it! He ditched you, cause you're a loser! And nobody wants to hang out with you. It's not true, Thomas, okay? He didn't ditch me. Something must have happened or came up and he didn't tell me, that's all. Likely story. Sounds like one that would come from someone who has no friends. I have friends, Thomas. 
Yeah? You think you have friends? Well, whatever. I don't care about you. This is Halloween, okay? I'm out here having fun, too. Really? You're going trick-or-treating? Yeah, I'm more on the line of doing tricks, though, okay? I don't care about the treats. No, you shouldn't do that. Doing tricks on people is bad. Oh, I'm Jesse, and I think everything that's cool is bad. Why don't you just shut up, man? No, stop. Seriously. Well, we're gonna egg all the houses we can, flip over some stuff, break some stuff, and, uh, hey, there's nothing you can do about it. Yes, I can. You know what? I think we're gonna do your house next. No, stop it. You're not gonna do that. Oh, yeah? Oh, man. Look what they did to my house. All my Halloween decorations, all that hard work! Excuse me, sir. What are you doing here? Uh, I live here. Likely story! I heard vandals came through this place and destroyed everything. I heard that there were kids just like you doing this to other houses as well. No, sir, this wasn't me, I swear, and it's my own house. If I wanted to do this, I could. Oh, so you're admitting to me that you did this? No, I'm not admitting that I did anything. It wasn't me. It was this mean kid, Thomas, I'm telling you. Mean kid Thomas, huh? So you're here at the scene of the crime, and it's not you that did it, though. It's mean kid Thomas, am I right? Well, his name's not mean kid Thomas. His name's Thomas, but yeah, you're right. He told me he was going to do this because he doesn't like me. You know what I don't like? What? Liars! That's what I don't like, sir! I know for a fact that you did this because you fit the description of the kid that was here earlier. Yeah, because I live here! Alright, if you live here, do you have any identification? Uh, no, I don't have a driver's license. I'm not- I'm just a kid. Well, something tells me that you're lying to me, okay? This is not your house, and you're gonna have to come with me. Wait, where are you taking me? Where am I gonna go? You are under arrest for vandalism! That's where you're going! You're going downtown! No! I didn't do this! Please! Call my mom and dad! We'll get it straightened out down at the station. Come on, now. Alright, so let me get this story straight. You were at the house, you destroyed the house, you did not leave fast enough for me not to catch you. Am I getting that right? No, you got it completely wrong. Thomas and his mean friends broke everything at my house because they hate me, okay? They punched me in the face and they went over to the house and destroyed it. I was coming home and then you were there. Actually, you were there before I got there. You know what I mean! Come on, man, I didn't do this! Why would I destroy my own house? And that's not even a crime! I can destroy my own house if I want to! Well, look, we tried getting a hold of your mom and dad, but they didn't answer their phones. I know, I'm not sure where they went tonight. They were supposed to go to some Halloween party or something, and it seems like both their cell phones are dead. It just seems a little too convenient that all of a sudden, you have no ID, your parents aren't home, you're at the scene of the crime. You know what? I think I have enough to press charges on you. Oh my gosh, please stop it. Please don't do this to me. I'll do whatever I want. Wait, what is that? Oh my gosh, it's a zombie! Wait, those are real? I don't know, apparently. I'm out of here! Wait, don't leave me! Oh my gosh, what the heck? Are these real monsters? What is happening? All I wanted to do was go trick-or-treating with my friend. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. <laughs> Jesse, what are you doing back here crying? Thomas, I've had enough of you, okay? I'm sick of this. Get out of here. Oh, man, calm down. Calm down. Jeez, you know Halloween is about trick or treat, right? I just played some tricks, that's all. What do you mean you played some tricks? Well, somebody might have called the cops on you. Wait, you did this? Yeah, maybe I did. Who knows? Wait, why would you do this, Thomas? This is so messed up. Let's see. Once again, trick or treat. I decided to trick you. This isn't a funny joke, okay? I almost got arrested because of you. 
Oh, stop. He wasn't really gonna arrest you. Yeah, the only reason why I did is because there was a zombie. What? There was no zombie. There's no such thing as zombies. Yeah, there is. No, there isn't. It was probably somebody in a costume or something. Man, you are such a fraidy cat. So what, you just planned this whole thing? Did Rylan really ditch me? Well, not exactly. What did you do? Well, I called him and maybe said that you told him to meet him at the haunted house. Wait, the haunted house in the woods? Yep, so he's probably stuck there waiting for you. Oh my gosh, I have to go save him. Thomas, you're the worst. Oh my gosh, I can't believe he's in this creepy place. Rylan! Jesse? Oh, there you are, man. Jesse, what the heck? Why'd you want to meet me out here? I didn't. It was all Thomas. Oh, man, I knew I shouldn't have listened to him. Yeah, why did you listen to him? I don't know. They brought me out here. He said he'd show me where the house was and I couldn't remember how to get home. So I was just stuck out here. Oh man, I'm really sorry. Well, he got me arrested. Does that make you feel any better? Oh my gosh, really? Yeah, it was awful. Oh man, he's such a jerk. I can't believe that. I can't either. And Ryland, it looked like there was like a ghost in your house when I was there. Oh man, it was probably one of Thomas's friends. He's been doing this stuff all night. They even stole my candy. No, that's not right. This was supposed to be the best night of the year. And now it's the worst night. I can't believe we were both alone on Halloween. Well, I mean, we can still make time, right? I mean, there's got to be time to do trick-or-treating. No... It's past midnight. It's November 1st. It's not even Halloween anymore. We missed it. Oh, man, I can't believe this. Thomas is the worst. What a horrible, horrible man. I know, I can't believe it, but I don't know. Playing pranks is just not good. I know, it's a terrible thing to do. Oh, come on, let's just go home. I know the way out of here. Jesse, I know it's not Halloween, but at least we still get to hang out and eat some candy. Yeah, I know. I'm glad we got to celebrate a little bit. Yeah, I still can't believe that he did that to us. And we're so stupid for believing all that stuff. I know. I know. We sh I should have known that you weren't going to want to go to a haunted house. Yeah, that wasn't the plan at all. And I can't believe that his friends pretended to be ghosts and got me arrested and everything. This is so terrible. Yeah, it was terrible, but at least we're back home, and we're safe now, and we don't have to deal with that anymore. Yeah, I agree, and I don't want it to ruin the next Halloween for us either. We can't be afraid to go out and have a good time because somebody else is mean. I know, it's true. I'm just glad everything's back to normal, you know what I mean? Yeah, I do too. We gotta find an excuse to wear our costumes though because they were so cool. I know, no one really got to see them. <laughs> yeah, well, I downloaded a bunch of really scary movies, so maybe we can watch some of those movies and hang out and celebrate Halloween today. Yeah, that sounds great. I'm looking forward to it. There are rumors all over the world about haunted houses. They're said that there's ghosts, monsters, and unexplained things that happen in them. There's one house in particular the Robloxian Manor, that's rumored to have been one of the most haunted places that ever existed. Kids from the nearby town attempted to go in there, and they were all chased out and scared. The house sat abandoned for many years. That's until Scott and his family moved in. It seemed like their dreams came true, but that dream would soon become their nightmare. There are reasons why houses get haunted, and sometimes they're not what you think. This is the story of the haunted house. Oh, 
I can't believe it. I can't believe that we're moving into this new house. Guys, it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. It certainly is beautiful, son. Just be careful, okay? I mean, I'm so used to living in the city. It's going to be kind of weird living out here. Well, it'll be good for you. It'll be a nice change of pace. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, I mean, look how beautiful this house is. It's a dream come true to be here. Yes, it is. We're very fortunate. This will be good for you in the long run, son. Uh, I guess you guys are right. I mean, at least I got a yard. See? Now we can go out and play catch together. I have an idea. Why don't you run into the house and pick out whatever bedroom you want? Really? Any bedroom? Any bedroom. That's right, son. Oh my gosh, this is awesome! Man, which room should I choose? This house is so cool. It's kind of dark in here, though. I wonder if the lights work better. Wait, what was that? Must have just been my imagination. Huh, maybe this room. Wait, what is that outside the window? Who is that? Get out. Oh my gosh! Mom! Dad! There's someone in the backyard! I think it was a ghost or something! Oh, now, son, I think you're just overreacting. Honey, there's no such thing as ghosts. Mom, I'm telling you, there was a ghost out there. There was something scary. I saw him. I saw him. There's someone back there. Please go check. Look, I know this house looks very old and it can make a lot of noises. Maybe you heard something like that, but I promise you it's perfectly safe. Would you feel better if I went back there and checked with you, son? Yeah, please, Dad. Let's go. All right. I'll go check. See? There's no ghost out here. Everything's fine. Dad, I swear I saw a ghost outside of the window. He was wearing this really creepy mask. He was so scary. Now, son, listen. I know transitions can be hard, and sometimes uh, our imaginations want to play tricks on us because we're so scared of the transitions, but that's probably all this is. Dad, I don't know. I didn't want to move in the first place, and now there's ghosts and everything. It's just so ridiculous. See? It's just because you were worried about moving. Everything's gonna be fine. There's nothing to worry about. Dad, I'm not living in a haunted house. <laughs> oh, we're not living in a haunted house. <laughs> that's, that's nonsense. Dad, I know what I saw, okay? It was a ghost. All right, that's enough, son. Now, come on, knock all this lying off. We, we really need your help getting the stuff in the house. Come on. <sighs> fine, okay. get to sleep this house is so creepy whoa what was that what's that banging noise hello anyone mom dad ah there it is again Wait, what was that noise here it is again what is this oh my gosh oh my gosh mom dad What, what's wrong, son? What's wrong? Uh, guys, I just saw it again! I saw a ghost! It was like a little boy or something! Uh, son, you can't keep making up stories like this. I know you didn't want to move, but it's gonna be okay. No, I'm not making it up! And this pumpkin thing just appeared out of nowhere! I'm telling you, something is wrong! Mom, tell Dad to listen to me! Uh, I, I don't know, honey. I, this doesn't look like something like that. I... 
Yes. Maybe you should get some rest. That's a good idea. Now knock this off. We're trying to get some rest. How can I sleep in a place like this? Hey, Dad, what's going on? I want you to go outside and clean. We need to pick up this house if we're going to move into it. Wait, no, Dad, we're already inside the house. I don't want to go outside. It's raining out. I don't need to clean the yard. We live in the woods. It's always going to be dirty. Now, look, son, we just have a few things we need to pick up out there, and I need you to be a team player. Can you go do this for us? Fine, I guess I will. Stupid dad making me clean up the stupid yard. I don't want to be out here. This place gives me the creeps. It's so weird. Oh my gosh, it's that guy again! Who are you? Oh my gosh! Oh, I gotta hide. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I hope no one finds me. It's so scary. There's no such thing as ghosts. There's no such thing as ghosts. There's no such thing as ghosts. No! Ah! Scott, honey, what's wrong? Mom, this place is really scaring me. I don't want to live here anymore. I want to go back to the city. Well, come on now, son. Why? This house is perfect for our family. It's not perfect for anybody's family, Dad. It's haunted and terrifying. <laughs> honey, the house is not haunted. Mom, I'm telling you right now, yesterday when I was out there, I saw the guy with the mask again, and this scarecrow guy, and then, the worst one of all, it was like this scary little, like, orphan kid or something. It was horrifying. Uh, son, you're, you're letting your imagination run away with you again. Now, there's no such thing as ghosts. Whoa, what was what? that? What? Son, stop messing around. I'm not messing around. Look it. There's another one of those pumpkins. This is so scary. Mom, Dad, please stop it. Okay, maybe we should go out to eat. That's a good idea. Oh my gosh. What was that? Man, this is so scary. I can't stand this house. All right, maybe I should just stay here and ignore it. What's out the window now? Oh my gosh, it's a ghost! Hey, get back here! Hey! I know you're out here. Show yourself! What do you want from my family? Leave us alone! Oh my gosh, it's in my room! Mom, Dad, you're never gonna guess what happened to me. I was outside and I saw that orphan thing again. This is getting too scary, you have to believe me. Look, I, I'm starting to believe you. I'm, I've seen some very strange things around here as well. Haven't you, honey? Yeah, you know, I, there's something definitely going on here. I, I don't know what to think. I think we need to get to the bottom of it. Look, guys, this is a really scary thing, but I've looked this house up online, and everybody says that it's haunted. That's why we got the house for so cheap. What, what, what happened, son? Well, look, a long time ago, there was a family that lived in this house but the original house burned down. The two parents escaped, but nobody ever knows what happened to the little boy. Oh no, that's so sad. I know, but it makes sense because that's what I've been seeing, right? That scary little boy. Guys, maybe that's why he's haunting us. Let out. Oh my gosh, did you guys just hear that? <laughs> we did. I can't believe this is happening. Okay, that was scary. Guys, it has to be that little boy. Maybe he doesn't want us here. Maybe he's looking for his mom and dad. I think I can stop this. I'm not afraid. Get out. All right, I'm a little afraid. Uh, honey, H honey, what do we do? 
I don't know, but I don't think we can stay here. Let's get out of here. No, we have to face this thing. We have to figure out why or it's never gonna leave us alone. Guys, I can do this, okay? Son, I don't think that's a good idea. You are not doing anything by yourself. No, it's the only way. Just trust me. Now I'm tired of this. Show yourself. Come on, show yourself. Not out. No, I know who you are. Your name is Martin. Martin, please talk to me. I mean you no harm. Martin, please. Martin, please talk to me, okay? I need you to leave my family alone. No, I can't. Martin, please, you're really scaring me and my mom and dad. It's not good. We have to live here. I'm scared. I know. I looked up what happened to you. And your parents made it out of this fire, but you never did, right? My parents made it out, but my soul never left. I haunt everyone, and I'm just waiting for the day my parents might come home. Is that why you're doing this? You want to scare us out of your house? Maybe if everyone leaves, my parents will come home. Martin, that was 70 years ago. Your parents are... are gone. No, no, I can't give up hope. Look, Martin, I might be able to help you. I can at least help you find the spirits of your family. You would do that for me? Yes, of course. That way my family can live here in peace and you can be with yours. Thank you. Well, this is it, Martin. This is where your parents were buried. According to the internet, they actually had a really good life, but they always missed you. Oh, well, thank you for everything. I, I, I'm sorry that I scared you. I didn't know what I was doing. I thought I was doing the right thing. It's okay, I understand. I wouldn't want a bunch of strangers in my house either. I, I can finally feel their spirits. I can feel the spirits of my parents. Well, hopefully now you guys can be together. I'm finally going home. Thank you. You're welcome, Marin. Oh, man, I can't believe it. He's finally gone. Now our house is going to be free of ghosts and everybody can be happy. I can't wait to tell my mom and dad. There are legends of vampires dating back as long as we can remember. They might be one of the scariest monsters that ever existed. They always live in scary places and they can only come out at night. Not many people have seen vampires. For a long time, everyone thought that they were just legends because there were only a few people that actually contacted vampires. Mark never believed in any of that stuff, but he found out the hard way that vampires are very, very real. This is the story of the vampire. Man, it's kind of creepy out here tonight. I wish I didn't have to walk by these woods to get home, but I don't have a choice. Uh, hello? Uh, hey man, I'm Mark. What's your name? Hello? Okay, fine, don't talk to me. Wait, where did he go? What am I seeing things? This is crazy. Ow! What just happened? Oh my gosh, I gotta get home! Kyle, Kyle, you'll never guess what happened. Calm down, Mark. What's going on? I saw someone when I was walking home. He looked like old and scary. And all of a sudden he like disappeared and then he came back and he bit me in the neck. Wait, what are you talking about? Are you talking about a vampire? No, no, I mean vampires aren't real, are they? Yeah, of course they're real. How could you not believe in vampires? I just thought they were a made up story and oh, oh man, Kyle, I don't feel good. 
I can't believe this. You're turning into a vampire. Like, calm down, Kyle. I'm not turning into a vampire. It must have just been my imagination. No, I know the signs. You're turning. You're turning into one of them. No, I'm not. No, please, Kyle, listen to me. This is really scare me. Well, it's scaring me. You gotta get out of this house right now. Get out. But please, Kyle. No, no vampires. No. Kyle, but I'm supposed to be your friend. You're not my friend anymore. I'll put an end to this. Please, I'm not a vampire. You're a liar. I'm getting the police. I can't believe it. I can't believe I really am turning into a vampire. This is so scary. I don't want to be a vampire. This is it, officer. This is where the vampire lives. Mark, you need to come out here with your hands up. Wait, what is that? Hello? Mark, get out here. We know you're a vampire now. No, I'm not going anywhere. Kyle, how could you do this to me? We're supposed to be friends. Cause you're a monster now! You're not a person anymore! I'm still me, guys! I'm still me! I think he's lying! Vampires are very, very dangerous! And we cannot stand to have one living in our neighborhood! Or our city! Yeah, I mean, you're gonna start biting people and turning us all into vampires! But I don't want to bite anybody! I don't want to hurt anyone! I don't want to be a vampire! Well, you're a vampire now! No, please stop it, guys. Well, there's only one thing that we can do. We need to arrest you and burn down this house. What? No, not my house. Oh my gosh, it's on fire. I have to get out of here. Man, I can't believe this. Now I'm a stupid vampire. I'm stuck out here in the woods. My own friend thinks I'm a monster. They burned my house down. What am I gonna do? Where am I gonna go? Hello there, friend. What? Who are you? My name is Bart. What do you want from me? What are you doing out here? I know what you're going through. I went through it myself. Going through what? You don't know anything about me. I know that you're a vampire. How did you know that? Because I'm a vampire too. Well, you can't bite me and turn me into one because I'm already a vampire, so why don't you just leave me alone? Because I know that you hate being one. And I hate being a vampire too. I didn't have a choice. Yeah, I just got bit walking home. And that's how it all starts. I'm very sorry. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, too. And now my whole life is ruined. I'm stuck here in the woods. I don't know what I'm doing, where I'm supposed to go. I might be able to help you. I've been working on something to try to make me turn back, too. Really? You have an idea? Yes, but we need to go to my cave. It's going to be light soon, and we can't get hit by the sun. All right, I'm down. Let's go. Is this really where you live? You have to live in a cave? Yes, Mark. Unfortunately, I do. There's nowhere else for me to go. I've been chased out of every town I've tried to stay in. Man, this is terrible. I don't want to live in a cave. I had a nice house. Well, maybe we don't have to do this forever. What happened to you? How did you become a vampire, Bart? It was a long, long time ago. Hundreds of years, maybe. I, too, was walking home. And all of a sudden, I was bit by this ancient vampire, and I turned into one of them right away. Oh no, that's terrible. I know, and I've been trying to find a way to break the curse. You think that there's a way? I know that there is, but I'm not sure what it is. Well, that's not any help. What are we supposed to do with that? Look, I know where the ancient vampire lives. I found it. Wait, really? The one that turned you? Yes. He's the first vampire. He's the one who made all of us. So what do you think we need to do? It's been too dangerous to go by myself. 
But now that I have a friend, I think that we could go to the castle and try to find a way to reverse this curse. I mean, yeah, it sounds kind of scary, but what other option do we have? I don't want to be a vampire forever. I'm not afraid of this guy. Oh, but you will be. Wow, is this it? It is. This is where the most powerful vampire in the world lives. I'm a little nervous, but we're both vampires too. We could also be powerful. We don't have the experience that he does. He is the oldest vampire in the world. He's magical, and he cannot be trusted. All right, well, how do you want to stop him? I don't know. There has to be something in there that will help us. I mean, it's a big castle. Maybe there's some books or something in there. I don't know. But you're right. There's got to be a way to stop this. The only way to find out is to try. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Where did that lightning come from? It's not good. He knows that we're here now. Wait, really? You think that he caused the lightning? I know he did. I can sense him. He's close. And he knows that we're here. Alright, maybe this is a little bit scary. I just gotta remember that I'm a vampire too. He can't turn me into a vampire again. Look, even though you're a vampire, you have to be careful. Now come on, let's get into the castle. Alright, that sounds good. I'm with you. Let's go. Look at this place, it's so creepy and old. I can't believe it. I know, I can feel the magic in this place. I can too, it's a really weird feeling. It's like, I don't know, it's like I'm being watched or something. I know, we have to find out what we're gonna do and we have to get out of here. Well, there's a bunch of books around. Maybe there's something with these books. Maybe there's like a reverse spell somewhere or something. I don't know, maybe. There could be a reverse spell. Maybe there's something with this cauldron. I just really don't know. Oh man, maybe we didn't think this through. I mean, this is a big castle to look for. <laughs> I never expected for you two to return. Oh my gosh, it's you! You're the one that bit me! That's right, I am. Why did you do it? Why did you change me into a vampire? Yeah, and why did you turn me? Because I wanted an army of vampires, and I will keep you all my prisoners now. No, we gotta get out of here. Come on, Bart. There's gotta be some way. Ha 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 ha. You'll never find a way out. Oh my gosh, Bart. What is that? I don't know. It's some sort of orb. Step away from that. Whoa! How did you get here so fast? I'm the oldest vampire in the world. I can travel at lightning speed. What's up with that orb? You stay away from there! Tell us, what is it? You really want to know? Yeah, that's why we're asking. That is the power of the vampire. All of the vampire spirits are inside. Wait, so like our souls are inside of that orb? That's right. Trapped in there forever. And that's how you get your power? You're awfully nosy, aren't you? It's none of your business. All you have to know is that you are forever my prisoner. You will never stop being a vampire. Oh yeah? I got an idea. Hey, you stop it right now, stop it! What just happened? My head is killing me. Yeah, mine is too. Wait, Bart, I, I think I think we're normal again. Yeah, where did everything go? What happened to the vampire? I don't know. Maybe when I jumped on the orb, it, it probably released all of our souls. I bet you everybody who was once a vampire turned back to a person. Oh my gosh, I think that you're right. Man, that guy was not very smart. Why would he just leave the orb over here? If that was all the power for the vampires in the world, it seems like a pretty stupid place to keep it. I know, but maybe his arrogance got the best of him. 
He probably thought that nobody would get here, nobody would figure it out, until he made you a vampire. I know. Well, I'm really happy that we came here, Bart. I mean, I know it seemed like a long shot, but we did it. We saved ourselves. I can't believe this. I can't believe it either. I wonder if we put an end to all vampires. If there are any vampires left in the world. I don't know. I can't say for sure. I mean, I really hope that we did. If the ancient vampire is gone, though, nobody can turn, right? Nobody else can just become a vampire. It had to start somewhere. That's true. I feel like he was the monster. And now he's gone. You lifted the curse. You saved everybody. Yeah, and most importantly, I got a new friend. Thank you so much, Barb, for standing by me. If it wasn't for you, I'd probably still be crying in the woods. Hey, don't mention it, Mark. Now let's get out of here. This place is creeping me out. Birthdays only come once a year. And they're so special. For most people, it's the best day of the whole year. But Jared's birthday wasn't like that. He was left all alone with nobody to celebrate him. Nobody gave him presents. Nobody said happy birthday. The worst part is, no one cared. But he refused to say it was a bad day. He kept his head up and had one of the most memorable birthdays he's ever had. This is how Jared was alone on his birthday. Gosh, I can't believe it. Today's my birthday. Oh, I can't wait to go see what my parents have planned for me. All right, and the announcement for the big sweepstakes winner of a lifetime vacation goes to Donna and Rick Stevenson. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we won! Hey, Mom, Dad, what's going on? Are you guys celebrating early? Yes, son! We just won the biggest vacation of our lifetime! This is the best moment of my life! I can't believe it! Oh, when does the vacation start? We leave right now! Isn't that exciting? Oh, I gotta go pack my bags! But guys, aren't you forgetting something? Isn't today a really important day? Yeah! It's the day we won the sweepstakes! But guys, it's my birthday! Now, Donna, aren't you really excited to go to the beach? I haven't been to the beach in years! Guys, it's my birthday! I can't wait to have a smoothie! Guys, it's my birthday! You can't leave on my birthday! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! We gotta get ready! Uh, Jared, thanks for, uh... Yeah, whatever you were saying. Good job! Yeah, I'll sign your permission slip later! But it's my birthday! Vanessa, I can't believe that you had to babysit me today on my birthday. Yeah, hi Jared, Merry Christmas or whatever. It's not Christmas, it's my birthday. Yeah, cool, we have a lot to do today. I really just wish that my parents would have stayed home. I mean, they just left me here. They went on the vacation of a lifetime and I'm just left all alone with you? No offense. Yeah, I don't really want to hang out with you either, but you know. They pay me money. Well, maybe we can hang out and it'll be good. Maybe it won't be that bad, right? This is this birthday can turn around for sure. Oh, it's a text from Jake. Um, I gotta go. I'm going on a date. Bye. Wait, Vanessa, you can't just leave. You're my babysitter. I'm gonna be all alone. Yeah, Merry Christmas to you too. Okay, bye. Oh, man. All right, I can't let this get me down. Maybe I'll just go play in my treehouse. Oh man, it's starting to rain! That's alright though. This will be fun. It's like an adventure. I'm like a pirate! <laughs> yeah, see, I can have a good time by myself. Maybe my birthday won't be that bad after all. 
Oh no, what's going on? No, my tree house! No, I can't believe it! Oh, I gotta get away from the fire! Johnny, Johnny, come out, Johnny! Dude, dude, my treehouse! Uh, Jared, what are you doing? You're gonna get me in trouble! I've been trying to call you, where have you been? I got grounded for not cleaning the dishes last night. Man, you got grounded? Yeah, I can't do anything. I'm having the worst day. It's my birthday and my parents left. And my babysitter left me and now my treehouse is burning down. Oh man, that sounds terrible, but... I don't know what you want me to do about it. What do you mean? You're my best friend. You're supposed to say happy birthday to me at least. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday, I guess. Oh, my gosh. Your parents won't let me come in at all even though it's my birthday? Nope. They don't care about your birthday at all. All they ever care about is me getting my chores done. Man, this is such a bummer. It's the worst birthday ever. Well, maybe my parents will let me come out in a little bit or something. I don't know, man. But I gotta go inside or I'm gonna be in so much trouble. Yeah, whatever. All right, I'll see you later. Oh no, I can't find my keys. My door's locked. Hello? Hello? What am I even doing? No one's home. My gosh, this is so frustrating. Oh, no, the treehouse, it's still on fire. The fire could reach the house and burn everything down. Oh, maybe I can put it out with the hose. No, the hose won't work. What am I going to do? My gosh, this can't get any worse. Ugh. I don't know. Maybe I need to get some help or something. I'm so tired and alone. and I just want all my friends and family to care about my birthday. I just can't believe this. What am I going to do? Why do I have to be alone all the time? It's like no one even cares about me. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Is there a fire going on in Yobek's yard? Excuse me, officer. Yeah, please. I need some help. I'm all alone and my treehouse just burnt down. Oh my goodness, we'll call the fire departments. What are you doing, boy? I can't call the fire department. I'm locked out of my house and everybody's gone. I don't know what to do. Okay, you need to relax a little bit, all right? I'm gonna help you out. I got the cell phones and I'll call the fire departments for you. Really? Oh, thank you, man. That would be so awesome. What's your name? Oh, my name is Asa Rufius. What is your name? It's nice to meet you. My name's Jared. Well, Jared, it's nice to meet you as well. Although you is just out here crying in the rains and that's kind of sad. I know it is sad, but it's my birthday and everybody left me. I'm all alone. I have nobody to hang out with and nobody even cares. No one even said happy birthday to me. Oh, well, well, first of all, happy birthday because that's nice. And second of all, I spend a lot of my birthdays alone, so I can always help you out. Oh, really? Yeah, like maybe we could hang out or something? Yes, I'm going to show you how to have a good time on your birthday all by yourself. Okay, you come with Asa for Rufus. He's going to help you out. Oh, awesome. Oh my goodness, well, I'm glad the rain stopped because I don't like rains at all. Yeah, I don't like the rain either. I'm glad it's starting to turn into a nice day. Thanks for taking me to the park. Yeah, no problems. Now, okay, we gotta find my friends. He should be around here somewhere. Oh, who's your friend? <gasps> oh, that's him over here. Okay. This is Mr. Squirm. Mr. Squirm, this is Yared. Okay, Yared, Mr. Squirm, all right? You hang out with a squirrel? Pssst, <sweak> pssst,
Well, he's one of my two friends, but yes, okay. He's really fun and he likes to run around and eats acorns and um other things, I think. But like, he's a good person to hang out with. All right, man, if he's your friend, that sounds good. Oh, thank you so much for this. I feel so much better. I mean, I guess I really do miss my parents. I wish that they were around still. Officer Rufus, what are you doing, man? Oh my goodness, Shane's. Oh, I'm just hanging out with this sad boy here, Jared. Hey, what's up, dude? My name's Shane. Oh my gosh, you're Shane? Oh, I've never met a YouTuber before. It's so nice to meet you. Yeah, dude, it's really nice to meet you too. Now, Shane's, I was telling this boy here, it's his birthday and he's all alone and he's sad. What? Dude, it's your birthday? You can't be alone on your birthday. Let's play in the park. It's gonna be so much fun. Oh my gosh, yeah, that sounds awesome. Jared, dude, it's getting kind of late, and I'm so hungry and tired. I have to get going home soon. Yes, and you need to give Officer Rufus some snacks, because he's super hungry as the whales. All right, Officer Rufus, no problem. You know I'll do that for you, man. Oh, well, thanks, guys. I'm really happy that you hung out with me. This really means a lot. Yeah, dude, no problem. It was so much fun. Yes, and don't worry, I'm gonna let the palm leaf stations know that you's gonna go over and they're gonna unlock so you can get inside your house. Oh, thank you so much. All right, well, you guys have a great night. I'm gonna go home and get some rest. Thanks for saving my birthday. Yeah, no problem, dude. I can't believe this. What a good end to such a bad day. Man, I wish that they could have hung out with me all night though. I have to go home with no cake and no presents. Oh man, this is such a bummer. Surprise! Guys, what are you doing here? You didn't think we were gonna miss your birthday, did you? Well, yeah, I kinda did. My gosh, no, how could we forget your birthday? Well, you did earlier today when I said, hey guys, it's my birthday, and then all you talked about was the vacation? Yeah, but we realized later on that we were being not good parents. We forgot, and I'm very sorry, but we love you so much, and as soon as we remembered, we came home to celebrate. Yeah, I'm sorry, Jared. I can't believe we forgot. It's okay. I'm just so glad that you're here now. We're glad we're here too, son. And we got tons of presents and food and everything. It's gonna be the best night ever. Really? Do you think we could stay up late and watch movies? Of course, anything you wanna do. It's your day, buddy. We love you, Jared. I love you too, guys. Thanks for saving my birthday. So what do you think, little bro? The tree looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks amazing. Can we bring it inside? Yeah, you know it. All right, then we gotta be careful, okay? Whoa, 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 what do you think you're doing? We're bringing our Christmas tree inside, Mom. Absolutely not. Christmas is canceled. What? Christmas is canceled? What do you mean? You can't just cancel Christmas. Yes, I can. I hate Christmas. And you guys have both been terrible all year what? No, long. we haven't. We've both been getting good grades. I said Christmas is canceled, and that's final. Oh! <laughs> Perfect. Oh no, our Christmas tree. Tyler, what are we gonna do now? Mom, what are you doing? No more Christmas means no more presents. Oh my gosh, Mom, stop, stop. Uh, 
What? This is getting out of control. This is completely unnecessary. It's because I hate Christmas. I don't want you boys involved in it at you all. You hate Christmas? Why, Mom? Look, Christmas is overrated, and it's just a waste of time and money. That's not true. Christmas is about being with family. Why do you hate Christmas so much, Mom? We've celebrated Christmas before. Where is this coming from? Look, I tried to play along all those years, but I'm, I'm done. All of my Christmases before this were lonely and terrible, and I just don't want to have it anymore. Well, Mom, we're here. Life isn't like that now. We can have Christmas together. This is my house, my rules. No Christmas allowed. Well, yeah, well, we're gonna have Christmas whether you like it or not. What did you just say to me, young man? You can't stop me and Eric from celebrating Christmas. I don't care. We'll see about that. Come on, dude, let's go. We're gonna be late for work. Well, since we can't have Christmas at home, at least we can celebrate here at work. Working at a Christmas tree farm was an awesome idea for a quick holiday job. At least here we don't have to worry about all the trees being destroyed. Yeah, that's true. You know, seeing families come here, pick out Christmas trees, all happy, excited. That's what Christmas is all about. The small moments. Exactly. Tyler, I'm getting really tired of mom always trying to ruin Christmas for us. Yeah, it always seems like she acts like a Grinch around this time of year. Exactly. It's like she turns into a completely different person. Look, I understand and I feel the exact same way you do. This is like my favorite time of the year. Maybe we should just try to renew mom's Christmas cheer though. We just gotta cheer her up, that's all. It's not a bad idea. What if we got a Christmas tree and we decorated it for her? I mean, it could inspire her to lick Christmas again. Maybe if we make it some kind of fun activity for us to do together, she'll start to get in the swing of things. I think that's a great idea. We should totally do it. All right, boys, we're going home. Mom, what are you talking about? Yeah, our shift doesn't end for another two hours. Not anymore. I told Jeff that both of y'all are quitting this dump. What? You can't do that. We didn't give you permission to do that at all. I don't need permission. I'm your mother. Now come on. Well, thanks a lot, Mom. Looks like you're two for two now, completely ruining our holiday. I can't believe you made us lose our jobs. Well, selling Christmas trees suck anyways. Jeff is a nice person and he knew we needed jobs. Well, how are we going to buy Christmas gifts for each other again since you broke the last ones? There is no more Christmas. Do y'all even listen to me? You know what? I've had enough. I'm so sick of you trying to ruin our Christmas, Mom. Same here. Just because Christmas sucked for you doesn't mean it has to suck for us too. You better watch your mouth, young man. No, Mom. He's right. It's not fair that we have to suffer just because you don't want to celebrate Christmas. Listen, boys. I am your mother. Mother, I get the final say about anything, whether you like it or not. Well, we don't like it. Well, I don't care. What I say goes, and that's final. Wow. Look at all these beautifully decorated houses. I really wish we could do something like this for once. Dude, I just want to celebrate Christmas like everybody else. I know, Eric. I do too. And we should be happy this time of year and be with family. I just want to have a nice day with everyone, that's all. You know what, dude, no matter what, we're going to have a good Christmas. I'll make sure of it, I promise. Yeah? How are you going to do that? I don't know, I'll, I'll figure something out. Oh man, I love this song. It looks like Mr. Jones set up his decorations with music, too. That's so cool. Oh, I hate this song! Turn it off! Stupid Christmas decorations! Oh, I hate them! <sighs> that's better. What, what is going on? No! No! Not my Christmas decoration! Oh no, Mr. Jones. I'm so sorry. Yeah, our mom really shouldn't have done that. Well, what am I gonna do now? These decorations have been in my family for years. It makes me really sad. Oh man, Tyler, what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna buy you brand new Christmas decorations, Mr. Jones. Don't worry. Oh, you boys are so nice. Unlike your mother. She's the worst! Oh, my Christmas decoration. <laughs> Well, I hope Mr. Jones liked these Christmas decorations we bought him. Yeah, I hope so too. I just still can't believe mom did that. Yeah, this year mom's kind of going off the deep end. She really hates Christmas this year. I just still don't understand why she has to make Christmas miserable for us too. Well, we've got to put an end to it because I am beyond sick of it. I want to celebrate this holiday the way I want to. Well, there's got to be something we can do. Well, I don't know. Maybe we should take mom someplace here. Seeing other people enjoying Christmas, maybe it'll get her to want to join in on the fun. Yeah, I don't know about that, dude. Yeah, she might destroy some of these holiday decorations here as well. Ugh, there's gotta be something. Maybe we get her a gift. That might not be a bad idea. Something thoughtful. Maybe something she's always wanted. I don't know. We gotta look for something. You know what? I think I have the perfect idea of what to get her. 
I think she's going to love this. Yeah, me too. I thought of it all myself. Yeah, way to go, Eric. Let's give it to her tonight and see how she reacts. Mom! Mom! What is it? Just come downstairs. What is going on? Merry Christmas, Mom. Yeah, Merry Christmas. We think that you'll like this. A Christmas present? And you thought I would like it? Yeah, Eric picked it out himself. Well, I hate Christmas Whoa, presents. Mom, what are you doing? Eric and I used up all of our money no to Christmas buy you no Christmas inside my house. Oh, you'd like it. You boys know the rules. I can't believe you would do oh this. Oh my gosh, Eric, get back here. No! Did you find Eric? Is he okay? Obviously not. He ran away and I lost him. Oh no, and the snow's coming down pretty bad. Did he grab a jacket? Mom, why do you care? Because he's my son. Do you have any idea what you did? He ran away because of your you. Your brother's just being dramatic, no, okay? No, Mom, this is your fault. You ruined the gift he was so excited to give you. You broke his heart, Mom. Over some stupid Christmas present? Really? He'll get over it. Yeah, well, I hope so. I hope he comes back soon. I hope you're really happy with yourself, Mom. Eric! Eric, come on, man! I haven't found him anywhere. I'm actually starting to get nervous. Why does something happen to him? I mean, Eric's a little guy. He can't defend himself. Eric, where are you? Ugh, nothing. Where could he be? Hey, you looking for something? Yeah, I I'm looking for my little brother. He goes by the name of Eric. Have you seen him? Nope, sorry. Can't help you. But maybe you can help me. Help you uh, with what? By giving me all your money. Whatever you got, give it up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. hey, hey, please, stop. You heard me. Money, right now. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas to you, jerk. Mom, are you crying? Yes. Our family is now broken. Oh, it's not entirely broken, Mom. We just need to find Eric, that's all. Yeah, but you were right. He ran away because of me. Maybe he did, but you are right. Why do you really hate Christmas so much? Why you just snapped and destroyed his Christmas gift? Well, when I was growing up, we didn't have a lot of money, and your grandmother had to work a lot, so I was always alone on Christmas. And over time, I just started to hate the holiday altogether. Seeing all these other families hang out together and seeing myself all alone, it really hurt. Well, I guess that could make anybody hate Christmas. I can kind of understand. Mom, you're not alone anymore. You have me and Eric. And I selfishly took it out on you boys. I'm so sorry for ruining the holiday for you guys. Well, Christmas isn't here just yet. You still have time to make up for it. We need to go find Eric. We'll go look for him together. I just can't believe how terrible she is to the both of us. She's supposed to be our mom. She's acting like a spoiled child. I just wish we would all get along. I just want one Christmas where we'd all just be happy for once. Is that too much to ask for? Hey there, Eric. W what's going on? You look upset. I am upset, Jeff. And you look real cold. Well, you can hang out here and tell me what is going on. Thanks, Jeff. You've always been so nice to me. Of course. So what is happening? Well, Jeff, it's my mom. She hates Christmas and she's been making my life miserable. Oh, man, I'm so sorry. I ran away the other night and now I've got nowhere else to go. Well, you're more than welcome to stay here. I got a little camper fire that'll keep you nice and warm. At least I finally got my Christmas tree, right? Well, if mom doesn't want to celebrate Christmas with me, then I'm going to celebrate it all on my own. Eric, come on, dude, where are you? Eric, honey. Eric, please. Where are you? Oh, it doesn't look like he's here. Figured maybe he'd come home, but uh, nothing. Mom, what's wrong? Why have you stopped? This used to be my childhood home. Really? You grew up here? I had no idea. You never told us that. Well, yeah, this is the place where Christmas ruined my life. Well, it doesn't look like that anymore. It looks like a new family lives there, and, and they're enjoying their holiday. Look, they got a tree and everything. Wow. You know, Tyler, deep down, this is what I've always wanted for us. And we will have that, but we have to have it with Eric. It's not the same without him. You're right. Let's keep looking for him. Hold on, I'm getting a call. It's Jeff, the Christmas tree guy. Hello? Hey, Tyler. Are you looking for Eric? Yeah, have you seen him anywhere? Oh, I know exactly where he is. Eric? Eric, where are you? Tyler? Mom? Honey, there you are. What have you been doing? Well, I put together this tree since you won't let me have one at home. 
Oh, man, oh, I'm just glad you're safe, dude. You had us worried. Look, honey, I'm so sorry for the way I've been treating you boys. What? Do you mean that? Of course I mean it. Do you forgive me? Well, I'll forgive you on one condition. Name it, honey. That you're willing to celebrate Christmas with us every single year. I wouldn't have it any other way. My gosh, I'm so excited that it's finally Christmas time. Oh, I gotta get my mom and dad some gifts. Oh wow, the store looks kinda empty. This is weird. Um, excuse me, sir. I'm looking for a gift for my mom and dad. Why aren't there any Christmas displays? Um, didn't you hear? What? No, I didn't hear anything. Christmas has been canceled this year, kid. What are you talking about? You can't just cancel a holiday. You're a liar, man. Come on, where are the gifts at? There are no gifts, kid. Christmas has been canceled for real. They passed a new law that says there's no more celebrating Christmas or any other holidays this year. No one's going to get any presents. That's it. It's over. Who would pass a law like that? That's not fair. Nobody can tell us that we can't celebrate Christmas anymore. Listen, kid, I'm a clothing store manager, okay? I don't make the rules around here. <sighs> Fine, all right. What happens if I buy a gift? Will I get in trouble? We're not even supposed to be talking about it, okay? There's no more Christmas at all. There's no holidays. It's over. Just get out of here. Get out of my store. All right, fine. Sorry to bother you. believe this. I can't believe Christmas is canceled. wonder if there's any news on the TV. I, Officer Frankelberry, am here to tell everybody that yes, Christmas is canceled. It's over forever. <laughs> and anybody caught giving gifts this year or decorating their house or anything will be arrested. And you know what? I'm going to keep all the gifts too. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay, bye. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. This is true. This is really happening. All I want to do is give gifts to my friends and family. Oh, there's got to be a reasonable explanation for this. I mean, you can't just cancel Christmas. It's like one of the best times of the year. I think I got to talk to this mean cop and see if there's anything he can do. I mean, maybe if he talks to me, he'll change his mind and we can get the law fixed. This is really silly. I'm going to go talk to him. Hello? Hello? Is anybody here? I gotta talk to somebody about this stupid Christmas law. What is all the commotion going on out here? I just hear someone crying. It's gross. Oh, it's you, the cop from the TV. Hey, good that you're the person that I want to talk to. Oh my gosh, this is my moment. I'm finally famous. Yes, fan. You can talk to me all you want. Do you want an autograph? No, I don't want an autograph. I want to know why you canceled Christmas. Why can't I give my mom and dad gifts? Ugh, it's one of these kids again. Listen, I already told the other five kids that came down here. I don't need to give you an explanation, okay? I'm an adult, I'm a police officer, and I canceled Christmas, that's it. You can't stop people from celebrating a holiday. It's such a messed up thing to do, man. You really don't know me at all, okay? I do some pretty messed up stuff. This isn't anything, okay? But what's the deal? Why can't we celebrate the holidays? You're just saying that we can't, but you're not telling us why. I don't have to tell you why, okay? You are starting to really bug me, kid. You better get out of here. I'm sick of talking to you already. But sir, please just listen to me. You're ruining everybody's lives. Not ruining mine, and that's the big important one. 
You know what, kid? You're super annoying. I'm going to keep an eye on you this year and make sure you don't celebrate anything. Fine. Thanks for wasting my time. Yeah, now get out of here, okay? Gosh, I've got some busy stuff to do. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. This is so stupid. All I want to do is celebrate Christmas with my family. And that mean cop ruined it. Whatever his name is, Officer Finkelberry or whatever. He's so stupid. This is the worst Christmas ever. I just want to be able to celebrate. Parker, is everything okay? You've been up here moping in your room all day. No, Dad. I'm really upset about this Christmas thing. I had the perfect gifts in mind for you and Mom and all my friends. It's just that time of year that we're supposed to be giving. I guess you're supposed to give all year round, but like, especially this time of year. And now it's illegal? We can't help anybody? We can't give anybody gifts? I figured that was upsetting you. I know how much you love this holiday season. It's your favorite. So, I got something for you. Really? What's that? Come downstairs. I gotta show you. Whoa, Dad, a bike? Oh my gosh. That's right, Parker. It's for you. Merry Christmas. But Dad, we're, we're not supposed to give gifts. We could get in a lot of trouble for this. I know, I know, but you're my son and I can't see you upset like that. I have to do something to make you happy. And listen, if you don't tell anybody, I won't say anything either. We'll keep it a secret. Wow, Dad, thank you so much. I wonder who's at the door. Oh, officer, please come inside. Is there anything I can help you with? Uh, yeah, I've got a couple questions for you, man. Um, oh, okay. What's going on? Well, you see, there have been rumors flying around that someone saw you buy a Christmas gift. <laughs> and I know that's silly because I know you know Christmas is canceled this year. What? Who, who would say that? I I didn't buy a gift? Well, that's silly. Yeah, yeah, I know. Except uh, I see that there's a gift back there in the other room. I see a bike with a bow on it. Can you explain that to me? Dad, is everything okay? Oh, uh, Parker, yeah, everything, everything's fine. Don't, don't, don't worry. Look who it is, it's you. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, it's pretty simple. Everyone knows your dad bought a gift for you, so, uh, he's getting put under arrest. Wait, what? Uh, did I stutter, loser? No, I didn't, okay? Your dad's getting arrested. He's coming with me to jail. No, please, don't take my dad! I need some help. Please, someone. Uh, yeah, is there something I can do for you? Yeah, somebody arrested my dad under false pretenses, and I need to get him back. He's in jail. Oh, are you talking about the guy Finkelberry just arrested? Yeah, I'm talking about the guy that Finkelberry just arrested. Oh, well, he was caught committing crimes. I guess he gave his stupid, ugly son a gift or something. Hey, that's me. I'm his son. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, well, uh, yeah, uh, he's gonna go to jail, so I don't know what to tell you there, ugly kid. Stop calling me ugly, okay? I didn't do anything wrong, and neither did my dad. He broke the rule, kid, okay? You're not supposed to give gifts. He gave you that really stupid bike that nobody likes anyway. Hey, I really like that bike, and my dad worked hard to buy it for me, okay? Look, kid, I don't know what to tell you, okay? Christmas is canceled. No matter how many times you want to come in here and start crying about it, Christmas is always going to be canceled. Do you understand that? But no, you can't do this. Please. I want my dad back. First you take my holiday and now you take my dad? Ugh, kid, kid. Let me tell you one thing about me. I really don't care about anything you have to say. 
Seriously, that's how it's gonna be? Well, you got two choices. You can either turn around and walk out of here, or I can throw you in a jail cell, and you can spend Christmas there by yourself! <sighs> Fine. Uh, whatever. I'm gonna find a way to get my dad out. And I'm gonna change all this, you'll see. Yeah, whatever, boring guy. Get out of here, you're annoying. I can't believe this. I can't believe it. I don't have Christmas and now I don't have my own dad. What am I supposed to do? And that guy called me ugly? He has the nerve to call me ugly as he see what he looks like? Oh man, this is the worst year ever. Hey kid, why are you crying out here? Oh yeah, oh you know the usual. My dad got arrested for giving me a Christmas present and now everything's ruined. Man, this is such a bad time. Aw oh, kid, I'm sorry. I knew this new law was gonna cause a lot of problems. How can you guys enforce this law? I mean, can't you see what it's doing to people? Listen, kid, there's nothing I can do. It's my job. I don't like the law, but I have to follow it, okay? But I have something I need to tell you. What's that? There's this town that celebrates Christmas all year round, and they're not affected by the law. And I think you should maybe go there. Maybe get your Christmas spirit back. Really? That's a good idea. Maybe they can help me find a way to get this stupid law changed. I'm not making any promises, but uh, you might come up with some idea. Well, thanks a lot, man. I really appreciate it. I'm going to go to that town and talk to everybody. I'm going to see what I can come up with. Oh, look at this place. This is awesome. It really is Christmas all the time. I can't believe a place like this exists. Hey there. Merry Christmas. Uh oh, hey, what's up, man? My name's Parker. What's your name? Nice to meet you, Parker. I'm Gabriel, and welcome to Christmas Town. Wow, this place is amazing. I can't believe that you get to celebrate Christmas all year round. Oh yeah, of course! Christmas is the best holiday, and it's so much fun, and all the decorations are so great, everybody here just loves it! Yeah, well, I wish that we could still celebrate it. I don't know if you heard, but this is the only place left in the world that Christmas is still legal. We get arrested. In fact, my dad got arrested for giving me a Christmas gift. Oh my gosh, that's awful! They won't even let you celebrate Christmas? No, man, I'm telling you, it's so bad. There's this awful cop, and for some reason, he just hates Christmas, and he just decided that it was going to be illegal now, so nobody gets to celebrate it. I don't know what to do. Hmm, that's really weird. People just can't stop people from celebrating Christmas. It's not about giving gifts and things like that. It's so much more than that. Yeah, I don't know what the guy's problem is. He's so angry. Every time I talk to him, he just starts screaming at me. I don't know why he hates it so much. I don't know why anybody would hate the holidays. Maybe there's some reason why. Maybe he doesn't have love in his life, and that's why he hates it. What am I supposed to do about that? I mean, he's a pretty unlikable guy. He's mean to everybody. Well, it always starts with one random act of kindness. Um, maybe you could give him a gift or something and see if that'll change his mind. Yeah, like a peace offering. That's a good idea. Well, thanks a lot, man. I'm really glad I came down here. Oh, we're glad you came here too, Parker. It's up to you now to save Christmas and spread the holiday cheer. <laughs> oh, look at that cat. He's so stupid. <laughs> Hey, Finkleberry, come out here. I need to talk to you. Uh, what? Oh, it's a kid. Listen, kid, don't you see I'm really busy? I've got a lot of important work to do. Wait, and what? what is it? What is this? What's going on here? I think I realized why you didn't like Christmas, and I just decided 
I wanted to bring you a gift this year, so here you go. This is a present for you from me. What? 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 No, no one's ever given me a Christmas gift before. Really? Never? No one in your whole life? No, never, okay, kid? Gosh, it's really emotional for me. This is like a moment. I never knew I had feelings. Well, I hope you like it. It's not much because I'm kind of broke and I'm trying to save all the rest of my money to get my dad out of jail. Yeah, listen, kid, I know what that feels like, okay? I'm usually alone on Christmas, like every single year of my life. And like I said, I've never gotten a present, so I know how tough that is, I think. Yeah, it's awful. I, I just want my dad back. Please, Officer Finkelberry, please, is there anything you can do? You know what, kid? Fine. You really wore me down here, and this gift is so sweet. I'm going to reinstate Christmas, and I'm going to let your dad go. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I can't believe it. It's a Christmas miracle. Yeah, it is. Brought to you by me, Finkleberry. Now let's see what you got me for Christmas. Socks? Really? All right, I guess it's a thought that counts. Dad, I can't believe you're home. I'm so happy to have you back. I'm glad to be back, Parker. And I'm also glad it was you. You saved Christmas, Parker. Yeah, I had no choice, Dad. I mean, I wasn't going to let you stay in jail. And I wasn't going to let anybody else get arrested either because of some stupid law from Finkelberry. Yeah, that guy is a weirdo, that's for sure. But I'm glad that he kept everyone's gifts and gave them back. So look, I could give you back your bike. Awesome, Dad. This is so great. And I got you a ton of awesome gifts, too. Oh, Parker, I didn't need any gifts. Most important thing is spending time with you on the holidays. I know. I agree. And when you were in jail, it made me think that there's a lot of people that have to spend the holidays alone. And I don't know. I just felt really bad. You know, it's not all about getting gifts and giving presents and all that stuff. It's about being around people that care about you and celebrating friendships. And families. I love you, son. Merry Christmas. I love you too, Dad. Gosh, I hate this time of year. It's the holidays again. It's been so long since I've had anybody in my life. I'm just out here alone on the streets like always. I really want to celebrate this year. I want to have friends and family, be inside and share gifts with people. Maybe this could be the year. Maybe this year things will finally change for me. Oh my gosh, you are annoying. You think that's gonna happen to you? Just leave me alone, dude. It might, okay? It's never gonna happen. You're gonna live out here on the streets like the rest of us and everyone's gonna hate you like they always do. Even we don't like you. That's not true. People don't hate me for no reason. Of course they do. No, I think this year is gonna be different. I think things are gonna change. I just have to believe that. Yeah, well you can believe all you want in your fantasy land, but the rest of us are gonna be out here in the real world where things actually happen. But I have to believe. Because if not, how am I going to accomplish anything? You're not going to, kid. Don't you realize that? I don't know. I think you're wrong. I know this year is going to be better. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you walk away before I punch you right in your face? Jeez, okay, fine, man. Man, well, the only good thing about the holidays is people are probably going to be nicer. Maybe someone can give me some money and I can spend it on a nice meal for myself. Maybe even get myself my own present. That would be awesome. At least I'd feel a little bit more like everybody else. Oh, hi there. I was wondering, if you have any spare change? Uh, I haven't eaten in a while and I'm really hungry. Ew, change? That's gross. I don't carry cash. And even if I did, I would never give it to a homeless person. Gross. Why would you talk to me like that? I'm just out here asking for help, and you're gonna insult me? I, this is the holidays, where people are supposed to be nicer to each other. Do you seriously think I care? 
I, I don't. Newsflash. And if you don't get out of my face, I am 100% going to call the cops. Oh, please don't do that. Uh, I'm really sorry, and I hope that you have a good holiday. Yeah, whatever, loser. Uh, hi, can I help you? Yeah, you can help me. Okay, what's going on? I just got word of a homeless man being extremely rude to a woman uptown, and you matched the description. No, I wasn't being rude at all. It was just a misunderstanding. There's no misunderstanding with people like you. You're disgusting. I'm not disgusting. I was just seeing if she had any spare change or any spare food. Of course you were. You're out here just doing whatever you want, thinking that people are going to just give you stuff because they can. Well, I was just asking for a helping hand. I'm in need. Why don't you get that nobody cares about you? I get that pretty clear. Everybody's terrible to me all the time. Yeah, well, they should be. You're an embarrassment. I'm not an embarrassment. Why, why would you even say that? All I am is hungry. I just want someone to be decent to me for once. Why would anyone ever be decent to you? You know what? I've had enough. It's time for you to go to jail. I'm not going to jail. I didn't do anything wrong. Don't make this harder than it has to be. No, just get away from me. Get back here, you disgusting homeless. I'm throwing you in jail. I, I can't believe that she reported me. And now I'm out here all alone again. Gosh, the holidays are the worst time of the year. I thought people were supposed to be generous, but no, they're horrible to me, always, no matter where I go, what I do. I hate it. I just want to be normal. I just want my life back. It wasn't always like this. I just fell on hard times, and now nobody will give me a chance. Gosh, I guess I should just go look for some scraps in the garbage like I did last year. I don't know. I, I can't let my attitude get bad, though. I can't think negatively. I have to be positive. Maybe? Oh, man. I'm just trying to think of things that made me happy. Like when I was a kid, and I used to go to the park all the time. Maybe I can go there. Maybe that will make me feel a little bit better. Maybe it'll be like it was when I was younger, and things were different. I'm not feeling sorry for myself. I'm gonna go over there and see if it'll change my mood. Oh man, I shouldn't have taken that shortcut. I'm really lost now. I haven't been out here in so long. Everything looks so different. Gosh, the park's got to be around here somewhere. Hey, loser. Oh, hey, it's you. How's your holiday going? Uh, it's, it's going good. You should have never doubted me. Yeah, right, dude. I saw you talking to that cop, and I know exactly what happened. I, I, it was just a big misunderstanding. Yeah, it's always a misunderstanding or something like that. Whatever, dude. Just admit that you're wrong. No, I'm not going to admit it. Life's got to be better than this. It has to get better. I'm telling you right now, it's only going to get worse for you. Why is that? Why do even you have to be mean to me? Because I don't like you. I don't like your positive attitude. I don't like anything about you. You should just know that you're going to be out here like me forever. But I don't want to be. I want my normal life back. I want things to be better. Well, I already told you they ain't getting better for you. Please, just leave me alone. Yeah? You want me to leave you alone? How about this? Ow! My gosh, I can't believe that guy punched me. I just hope he leaves me alone. I don't know what his problem is. So stupid. But I'm glad I finally found the park. I remember when I was a kid, and my parents were still around, and my dad would take me here on the slide. Those are some of the best times in my life. I just wish that I could relive them just one more chance. I'd give anything to just have one more day like that. Uh, hey, what's going on? Oh, hey, nothing. Uh, what are you doing here? Oh, I used to come here when I was a kid, and I just really wanted to remember that moment. It's been really tough lately. Yeah, no kidding, man. I used to come here all the time when I was a kid. I had this friend that I used to play with all the time, but I can't remember his name. Yeah, well, it's tough when you get older. Things change. Yeah, exactly. But hey, man, my name's Carlos. What's your name? I'm Chris. 
Oh, Chris, that's awesome. Hey, uh, I was just gonna go grab a bite to eat. Do you, do you want a cub? Um, yeah, sure, that would be great. All right, come on, let's go, I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. if you want to talk about it but I, I was wondering what happened how did you end up hopeless well it was really sad actually i had a great life when i was younger and uh and one day my parents got into a bad accident and, and they passed away oh my gosh i'm so sorry yeah none of my other family members wanted me and they sent me to an orphanage for a little while and then they kicked me out and now i'm just homeless oh gosh i'm really sorry it's okay the only really good memory I have is when I used to play at that park when I was a kid. Yeah, I know. That's one of my favorite memories, too. Wait a minute. You look really familiar. No, oh, it can't be you. Yeah, I think that we were childhood friends. I remember now. We used to go all over the place. There was the hill in the back, and we used to go sledding on it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. This is amazing. I always thought you just moved away. Well, I sort of did. Oh, uh, I, I'm just so glad that we finally got to reconnect. I've always wondered what happened to you, man. I, I thought about you all the time. You were my best friend. Yeah, I'm just speechless. I can't believe this. Look, man, I want to help you, okay? I, I don't want you to be hopeless anymore. I appreciate that, but I, I can't take anything for free. Well, look, I'm actually in the process of starting up a toy business for children in need. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, well, I could give you a place to stay and you could work with me. We could help people out and we could invent stuff and wherever the world takes us. You know what? I'm in. This sounds great. I'm so glad that I ran into you. Yeah, I am too, man. I am too. We got a lot of catching up to do. Wow, man, this place is so nice. Wow, thank you very much. I worked really hard for it. And this place is your place now too, man. Wow, you're really gonna just let me crash here? Yeah, of course, it's not a big deal. Plus, we're gonna be doing a lot of work if we wanna get this company off the ground. Yeah, no, that's true. I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be really nice helping people. Yeah, I know. I grew up without anything. And, and for me to be able to help provide people with stuff, I mean, I don't even have anything now. It's gonna be really great. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. And I think we need to do this as partners, 50-50. Are you serious? I don't have any money to put into this. I mean, I literally have nothing. It's okay, I don't care. We were friends when we were younger, and we're friends now. And I think that we could do this. I think so too. Let's get started. Wow, I can't believe it. I finally have normal clothes. Yeah, that's so awesome. Our business is doing incredible. I can't believe it. I mean, we've been working so hard over the last few months. And we've donated a ton of the toys that we made to kids all over the place. Yeah, I know. It's so great. And look, man, I, I would have never been able to do this without you. Like I said, man, I'm always there to help a friend. And I could have done it without you either. I always said that something was going to work out. And I never stopped believing that it would. That's the most important thing. You gotta make sure that you believe. Yeah, exactly. And now I'm in a position that I can help people. It's really exciting, man. Well, look, I have a meeting downtown, so I gotta head out of here, but I'll talk to you a little later on. Yeah, definitely, dude. How's it going? Oh my gosh, look who it is! What are you, some sort of fancy pants now? No, I'm not a fancy pants. I just became successful, that's all. Look at you, what do you think you're better than everybody now? Oh, look at me, I'm the successful guy. Blah, 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 you're boring. Hey, look, man, I always said that things were gonna get better, and I always believed it, and they really did. Yeah, well, no matter what, you're always gonna be a stupid loser homeless person that no one ever wanted. That's not true, man. It's not true about me, and it's not true about you. I don't know why you believe that about yourself. You're so much more than that. I don't know. I don't think so. No one's ever cared about me. Well, I care about you, man. If there's anything I can do, I'd be glad to help you. Really? You'd help me? Of course I would. Why wouldn't I? I don't know. No one's ever wanted to help me before. I've been all by myself for a long time. I get it, man. I definitely get it. 
but you need to start thinking better about yourself too because you're worth more than just the things that you have. Well, thanks for saying that, because I don't have anything. Well, look, man, are you hungry? Yeah, I haven't eaten in days. Why don't we go grab a nice meal together? My treat. Seriously? Yeah, and then we can talk about how we can help you out. Oh my gosh, thanks. Yeah, you're welcome, dude. Come on, let's go.